Good morning, Soldier Boy here, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, this was picked as the next game for us to play through 100% and do a platinum on from you guys, and here we are. So, if you missed the live stream yesterday of Horizon Zero Dawn, we finished the DLC. There is still, still some trophy hunting to do to grab the last remaining trophies from the DLC itself. We will be doing that this evening. All being well, that is our plan. So we'll do a little bit of trophy hunting in the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC this evening. But today we start a new main game for us. So this will be a, a, a main playthrough game on the morning live streams. And it is Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, I have played this a little bit a long time ago. And let me explain what happened. So basically, we played this... Uh, I can't even remember when. And then there was, a, there was a crossover mission between Origins and Final Fantasy. I wasn't aware of this crossover. And I did this crossover mission unaware it was a crossover. And then when it became apparent that I'd now got this Final Fantasy Sword and Shield, all the realism and all the parts that I enjoyed went... And it, I kind of got annoyed with the game after that and stopped. I can't even remember how far I was into it. So I never finished it, which I'm ashamed to say. And I never really got into it because of that. So today we start 100% uh, Platinum playthrough without stopping this time. We are going to play it through. I'm hoping it's the same as everything else. My Odyssey, uh, Odyssey I tried couldn't get into and thanks to you guys we gave it another go we pushed it and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it i'm hoping this will be the same good morning keller how are you um that is my hope that this will do the same for me that odyssey did um and like i said you guys picked this as a new playthrough game that is what we should do um i am thoroughly looking forward to it i've just got to do the usual a little bit of advertising on Twitter. Bear with me a second. I am also struggling a little bit of hay fever today. My eyes are not being good for me, which is not a good thing. But the plan is today we are streaming Origins first thing. And then this evening we will do a trophy hunt with Horizon Zero Dawn DLC. I've, tur I've had to turn the music off, Keller. Otherwise, um, you can get a copyright issue um, if you have the music on. I did enjoy it until I turned it off. <laughs> So also, if you haven't played Origins or are looking at it, I would say go to the PlayStation Store because yesterday I went to have a look at the season pass to see how much it was, and it's thirty-two ninety-nine in UK pounds. I then looked at the different versions of the game. The deluxe edition is sixty-nine ninety-nine. The base game on its own is nine ninety-nine. It's on sale. But then the gold edition, which comes with the deluxe pack, the season pass, so it includes all the DLCs, $22.99. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it is cheaper than the deluxe pack, but yeah, you get more. I don't know how the whole thing together is cheaper than the season pass, but it is. So that's what I had to do, because then I save money on the season pass that way. This is where I can't talk and type. Bear me a second. Uh, I really can't type and talk. It's really, it's ridiculous.
Da, 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 da. Come on. All right, that's that done. And then I've just got one more thing to do, and then we shall be cracking on. Mainly because there's a group that I've joined recently that I've been asking me to promote a little bit more. Uh, and I keep forgetting. I did it yesterday. I completely forgot today. Uh, I nearly forgot just now. I think you're going to do it, need to do it again that Final Fantasy Mission is 100% completion. I don't mind doing it because I'm now aware of it this time of what happened. I'm, I don't mind doing it. My issue was I wasn't expecting it and it kind of destroyed the game a little bit for me. Um, because I'm now aware of it, I'm kind of more okay with it. I probably won't use the weapons, but then because I've bought the gold edition because of the price, I'm probably going to have loads of extra stuff at the start, which I've got to be a bit, I'm not sure about. Okay, that's my shameless bit of advertising done. We shall crack on. As I say, I've got to be. My eyes are playing up a little bit. Pay fever. Hopefully, I'll be okay. Um, if I do stop a couple of times, it is just me trying to clear my vision so I can see what's going on. Smellies, good morning. How are you? Just got the Essex and Lincolnshire up left in Valhalla. You got gold in your first master challenge. Congratulations. We are we are due to do more mastery challenges some point soon. We got gold for the first three, and then once you do those, it opens up two more places, and we're struggling on one of them. I haven't tried the other one, but we are struggling on one of them. You wouldn't use the weapons because those aren't even the most powerful in the game. We know how we play, Keller. We try and play as naturally as possible and go from there. But no, well done, Smellies. Essex and Lincolnshire Arts. Trying to figure out what point you're at then. If you've only got them, have you gone back to um you gone back to Norway yet? Am I saying the right country? I'm pretty sure it's Norway. Have you gone back to where you started yet? Because you might have more to do than you realise. New game. It's always weird when you see new game again. Exciting. Right. What are we playing on? Easy? Uh, I want the story, but do not want the struggle. Go easy. No. Boost your character to level 45. What is this? After completing the Blood Drive present day quest, you will then start the Curse to Pharaoh's required level. But I don't want... I'm hoping that doesn't automatically kick in, because that isn't won't be good. I want a balanced experience, this default level of the game... Hard. I'm not afraid. Show me what you've got. Nightmare. Hard is for kittens. Nightmare is for me. <laughs> I want the struggle and the pain. I want to wake up in shivers in the middle of the night. I like the explanation. We will. All, we always generally play on normal. Obviously, if there's a chance to change exploration, we always make that harder. But I don't think there is in this. So we will start on normal, as I always do normal. I haven't looked if there's a difficulty trophy. I'm hoping the difficulty doesn't affect platinum. I haven't checked. I don't think it does, to be honest. I'm hoping not. I now need to get comfortable. No, after them two, I then go to Norway, then the final Hampton shot. Oh, so you've still got a little bit to do then, Smellers. Have you finished all of Asgard and all that kind of stuff yet? Yeah, so you've still got a decent amount to do. Well, as long as you're enjoying it, that's a good thing. 
Siwa Oasis 49 BCE. Okay. We've played these completely in the wrong order, I must admit. Because we've done Valhalla first, Odyssey next, and then Origins. Although, saying that, the way the first blade finished in Odyssey then flows into Origins really well. So you could say we've done them in a good order by doing it that way. You love the cutscenes in the beginning. Yeah, you could say because of the legacy of the first blade kind of showed Egypt, we've kind of followed it through maybe. You could say that. You've done Asgard, Jotunheim and Vinland. Nicely done. Have you done Asgard twice? Good morning, Lisa. How are you? I'm good this morning, thank you. Um, usual pain levels, but nothing new there. Struggling a little bit of hay fever, I must admit, in my eyes. But we're, we're doing well. We're excited. Something new, something to try. And as I say, this evening we will be trophy hunting Horizon Zero Dawn, just to finish that off. Wow, okay. I've, I've not played this and I never finished it for many, many years, so this is all new to me. I can't really remember much about it. I am Major to no Pharaoh. You see this? I can read my own name, Nat! We will find you. We will find you in your sleep! Sleep? I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! Wow. So that was the heaven. If, if Bayek's taking him out for us, it would save us a job later, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you go back. You have to go back to Asgard after you and doing Jotun Jotunheim. It will should push you to do so. There should be uh, a reason to go back there. He is big. His performance is amazing. I must admit, the performances in these kind of things are amazing. Right, so lock on is R three. Yep. Press on or hold L one to block. Bodyguard. It is a question of honor. Light attack is R1. You are I didn't block properly. You are quick, they don't when you block, they don't bounce off you as uh, like they used to. I've got to get used to obviously the buttons in this. Well, I've done a light attack. I don't know. I don't. The lock on I'm, I don't normally use, to be honest. I'm going to take the lock on off. Oh, it's telling me to lock on. You have fought well. You will have an honorable death. Right. We've got we've got ability points added as a bonus. Why the gold edition as well? Yeah, you fought for near. Oh, nice. How did you find fighting for near, Smellies? This is why you prefer bike over Alexis and Eyeball. I'm not going to comment on that until we're further in. To be fair, I don't want to prejudge anything. You prefer bike to his more defined character with motivations. Okay, that's interesting. Why do we concept to lock on? R2 to perform a form of shield break. Let it be you. Let us call There's a shield break. You are not the one I've sworn to kill. Question of honor. It is a fight to the death. So be it. Square is dodge. It's always weird having to get used to new 
new buttons again. R1 R2 release special attack when adrenaline bar is full. Oh nice. Okay, we've got a special attack to use. I didn't dodge that very well, did I? Didn't dodge that very well either. Oh, we killed him. It is a completely different way of playing, control-wise. That's the one thing I've got to get used to. Ah, oh, my eyes are... Bear me a second, my eyes are horrendous. Okay. Uh, loot. Heavy blunt. Okay, so I'm assuming we have a similar gear system to Odyssey. So let's have a look at all our gear and stuff. There's quests. Gear. Outfit. Some of these we're going to have bonus stuff. We're going to avoid some of that, I think. He deserved a sequel. A lot of people have said that. I've heard a lot of people say that. So we've got Desert Cobra. Um, and that may have been a Ubisoft Connect award. We're going to stick with what we find during. We have Fangs as a horse. We're not using it. I'm always a bit weary about using um, stuff we've got from DLC and all that kind of stuff. I don't generally use it if I can help it. Uh, so that's a bronze sword. We have got a weapon called the Fang, which is a legendary sickle sword. Um, again, I feel it's cheating if we use it now, as I don't feel we've earned it. I have a pep, it's a heavy, legendary heavy blunt. We do have a mace, which is acquired. Uh, shield wise, we have snakes on a shield, legendary. Again, these are from buying the deluxe, the gold version, because it's cheaper to buy the deluxe. The, uh, the gold version than it was to buy the season pass. Don't ask me how that works. Gold version at the minute on PlayStation Store is twenty two ninety nine. Season pass is thirty two ninety nine. Explain to me how that makes sense. I don't know. And the deluxe version is sixty nine ninety nine. Again, makes no sense. Okay, uh, abilities. We have been given free ability points off the bat for having the gold version. Again, I may wait to use them until we are. At least leveled up one level, maybe. I'm kind. I, I try not to use these extras until we should. Uh, this is our map. Wow, this is Siwa. There's so much to do. And targets. Nice. Okay. So I'm assuming we've got to find a way out. This is. What have we got? Uh, Hold to use animus. I need to find a way into another room. Find a way into another room. It's been such a long time. Well, I'm pulsing and I can't see anything. I'm assuming it. Ah, oh, it's here. There you go. I knew there was something. Wear the hood if you want. It looks this very good. From we'll have a look. Oh, I've just see that now. Remind, remembered this. Yeah, if you see these, you know there's something you can get through. If you see the scarab beetles on walls, it means there is air coming through. My eye is, my eyes are horrendous. Bear with me a second. I need to get something to stop my, to uh, stop my eyes watering. It is now annoying me. Even if it's just something I have near me to wipe them with. I don't normally have an issue with hay fever. I normally take hay fever tablets, and I do, and have been. Today, for some reason, my eyes are horrendous. It does happen, it's something I have to deal with. Add it to the long list of things I have to currently put up with, I suppose. Right. Oh, you said about wearing the hood, didn't you? I don't normally wear hoods, and I haven't taken it off currently. So I don't know... Got a quest item, Medjay Batch. Um, I don't know what I need to do to put it on, to be fair, at this point. Let's just get through this first bit. So hold that for a torch. 
It is all coming back to me very slowly. It has been a very long time since we played. Right, so Animus pul Pulse is up. And then tonight, we've got to remember buttons are different when we go and play Horizon. Be fair, it's, the buttons are quite similar to Odyssey. I would have said. This must have been built centuries upon centuries ago. So yeah, I'm I'm holding off using some of the new stuff, ah. the legendary stuff we've gained, because I feel that gives us an unfair advantage straight off the bat. I have need of this. So he's apologising for looting. I like that. The fact he's apologising for it. Should we be heading up? Or stay down? There's stuff over here. More money, more coins. We can climb up here. We can also go left. I don't know what that way is. The detail. So this game there light this game came out the same time as horizon zero dawn in terms of year and graphically to be fair it is it is on par Breakable walls. There's a load of soldiers down there. This isn't going to bode well, is it? Soldiers. Of course. Oh, you, there's a little head, okay. Right, someone else is fighting the soldiers. We better go and help, I suppose. I remember first playing this and because controls are so were different to some of the previous, as so this is the first RPG um, one where a shield is a must. I'm taking a few hits, I must admit. Look at that as a kill shot. Um, yeah, where a shield is a must in this. Before this, it never really had it. Thank you for the like. Good morning, gaming. How are you? You don't know how hype you are. <laughs> you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? <laughs> yeah, whereas you have a choice in Valhalla for shield. And you had a... Um, and obviously there's no shield in Odyssey. Oh, is there? I can't remember now. But, um, yeah, this one you are forced to use a shield. This isn't a bad thing. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest? No. No rest. Not until all the masked ones' guts lie baking in the sand. Tomorrow is Friday, and I don't stream Fridays gaming, I'm afraid. I have physio as well first thing in the morning. So tomorrow we won't be streaming. We are streaming Horizon Zero Dawn trophy hunting this evening. Um, but yeah, we don't stream on Fridays, do we? Because I've got physio. There you are, boy. Let us go, Senny. Yeah, I, I like the shield as well. To be fair, in Greek history, they did use shields quite a bit. So I'm surprised we didn't have one in Odyssey. But the soldiers have set up a garrison, and they rule over us. Garrison and Siwa. Told me once so right, no worries. Region kept on the hill. I do my Don't best worry, I'm assuming the summer holidays. I could use your help. 
I'll do what I can. Look at this scenery, though. Don't forget. This kind of journey reminds me so much of the first Assassin's Creed. The first time you're off riding to Jerusalem and you just look in the distance. It's the one thing that I just so enjoy about Assassin's Creed games is the views. Okay. We still need to find out more of Bayek's story. I remember bits and pieces, but not very much, I must ah, admit. I knew I could count on you, Sammy. What happened here? The garrison soldiers are brutal. If they suspect the villagers like So I bought the gold edition. And worse. Because the season pass was thirty two ninety nine on its own. See what has missed. Um, and obviously we want to do the DLCs. The deluxe edition was sixty nine ninety nine. And the gold edition was twenty two ninety nine. So the gold edition was cheaper than buying the season pass on its own. The game itself is ten pounds. I had the game on disc form already. And I didn't really want to spend that much, but I knew if the season pass wasn't on offer, I would have a few issues. So I thought the gold edition, £10 cheaper to buy the season pass on its own, plus you get extras. Because we're just going to decide when we're going to use them extras. Chickens! I hate chickens. Ubisoft and chickens don't go very well together. I'm trying to avoid people. So, soldiers we know are not very nice here. Is one-handed sword an option game, Valhalla? No. You obviously you can use a um, a skill to equip a big sword as a one-handed sword, but no. They have said, everyone keeps saying about one-handed swords. They have said they're bringing them out with the France DLC. That's what they've said currently. Um, so we will hopefully see them when we go to France. Um, a lot of people kicked off when they released the Irish DLC because they expected them for Ireland, but they were never going to happen for Ireland because Ireland's going to have sickles, which is what we got. Um, but yeah, France DLC, one-handed sword, should be hitting Valhalla then. Also, in other news, there's loads of different symbols showing up. I've got no idea what any of them mean. We could have to look at that. Um... Behold what becomes of those who disobey Medunamu. Is that who Take I think it is? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Other news. Avengers has been updated. We can now stream it without fear of our IP address being shared. Ah, home. Leave your mount. You will not stray far. I would. I can't remember how to get down. Ah, no. Ah, circle. There we go. Circle will dismount. Right. At Blacksmith and Elfish Shop. Oh yeah, the, the symbols I recognised. I was just, you know, it's something new. We're gonna have to look at. Rest, my friend. It has been a difficult day. I difficult. No interest in rest. So, from what I can tell so far, and I am trying to play it with fresh, open eyes without really knowing too much. I do remember bits and pieces. Bayak was attacking and taking out the Heron. I, I kind of know why, but as far as the game tells, it hasn't told us why yet. I've always patched you two up, made excuses to your parents. Times have changed. So yeah, my thinking this weekend is we stream Horizon this evening to try and do the trophy hunting for the DLC, and then Saturday evening we are looking at doing the Cosmic Cube event for Avengers, if anyone is up for helping or joining in. That, I'm thinking Saturday evening is my current thinking. Because the Cosmic Cube event runs until I think it's the 8th of July. So it'd be nice to finish it. <laughs> I thought you would never wake up. Ah, Rabia patched me up. And I don't know what level you need to be, though. That's the only downside. You need to be alert to tango with Medunumun. In fact, my friend. A new bow. Okay, cool. Cool, game. Sounds good. Right. Best bow to hit is right We're going to use a bow. See, bows are one of my favourite weapons. I really enjoy using bows, I must admit. Practice using the bow. Aim. 
Okay, so it's the normal control to a bow. We'll go for a headshot off the bat, shall we? You can feel the tension in the controller. I like that. And I know with PlayStation 5, they've increased that. One of the dummies is sturdier than the other. More arrows in the rack over there. The PlayStation 5 control. The haptic feedback is so much more. But even in my PS4 controller, I can feel the feedback on the bow already. So I can imagine how the PS5 is going to feel. We've probably got a long wait till we get one. What is it? Soldiers are coming for you. Go. Well, why are soldiers coming for him? Come. Quickly. You're doing all the question marks and see what. You've got through this bit quick. We're just here to talk. We're going to do a normal play style. Is 100% playthrough, so we'll clear everything in each region. Try and do completely everything the game has to offer. There is also a discovery mode. I am considering making some videos on discovery mode as well. Nick, they will find my letters and burn down my place. I will be executed. Don't worry. I will take care of this. Right, so we need to kill the soldiers. Watch out. Detection. Okay. O to enter, exit, crouch. Perfect. What's that? Who's there? Keep low. He is getting too close. I'm waiting for a button. Hey. When the bar is yellow, you have a small window of time to eliminate the enemy before they attack you. Triangle is takedown. Hold on. Didn't kill him. Knocked him out, though. Eradication. I do like eradication areas. He's going to be surprised. Okay. So I can't highlight where the enemy are. I did wonder if the pole... Huh. Is he going to come and find him? So we're being told off for leaving the body out in the open. Well, it's two more men left. Three more men. I can't see if he's got his back to us or not. Let's see downside. There's one here. Something. More chickens. I really detest chickens. Ubisoft have got a really sick sense of humor when it comes to chickens, I must admit. But yeah, the uh, play style isn't going to change. We are going to try and do everything 100%. Who have I got left to take out? Is he upstairs? I think he is. We have taken them all out. I'm assuming that there's full it. full damage Take from what I remember. Mind. I told you these neck at here that do not care. I cannot so really Bike says neck. Cassandra says Malacca. Does I have a Norwegian exclamation? I can't remember. Um Skull. But that's normally when they're gonna drink. All the problems of Siwa are here. Um, but yeah, you hear him say skull a lot, um, which is, one, but it is more than I can cheers, do. I suppose. So me you do not have Can't the think of... God. <laughs> so when they say Malacca as a, when they're annoyed you know, in Odyssey. The people were hopeful when he first arrived. Surely things but yeah, I can't open. think anything else. For Valhalla. Skull is the one thing like that sticks you. out. You're really going to enjoy it because it's going to be, you're now a completionist. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice way of playing, Keller. You feel like you definitely get your money's worth. That is the man you're up against. That's the Ibis. I will find him and kill him. The Junoman is a lot more powerful than he looks, and he is surrounded by the finest soldiers. I do not care. You'll be killed. 
You need to get tougher if you want to murder that spindly shit. For sure, you'll need better armor. Oh, I can make that myself. Weapons are more difficult. The soldiers took everything in the village. I will talk to the blacksmith. I must yes. admit, playing Anything through the Assassin's Creed games it just brings back so many memories. They are amazing. And we've got I've got loads on disc that we haven't done on a stream, so I know there's other games we want to do as well, but Assassin's Creed does hold a big part for me when it comes to gaming. I'm looking forward to playing some of the older games, I think, as well. I must thank her. When I finally get my insurance money through as well, I am considering getting PS Now because I saw on there I can play all of the God of War games through PS Now and stream them. So um, it's something that you guys have kind of said I should play. So it's something we'll look at in the future. So Senyu is our bird. Quest completed. Oasis. We still haven't learned too much about his story at this point. So that's something we have to look at. The False Oracle is the new quest. Gear Up is a new quest. Anything else? Open quest, log track quest. I'm trying to do it as it's explained to me as if I've never played before. That's my kind of plan at this point. So Gear Up is a new quest. So we can track this. We've got to craft a breastplate. I forgot all about crafting this. Uh, gear, I'm ignoring gear at this point, only because we've got a second bow. Uh, hang on. I oh, know it's just the first one we haven't looked at. Abilities. We'll have a look at abilities. We have got a skill point. So I got three bonus skill points. Do we spend them now or do I hold off? Do I spend one every time we level up? I don't want to give myself an unfair advantage over other people that start off. We got three bonus ability points from buying the gold version. I've got no idea what skills are best. I like to say I'm, I like to play blind. I like to play as a newbie in a lot of ways and learn as we go. I do remember bits and pieces, obviously, of the game, but I am going to try and play it. So assassination XP we can acquire. Although we haven't got a blade, I don't think we haven't got an assassination blade, have we? Should we hold off on that one to actually have a blade, maybe? Uh, we can have a headshot XP. Uh, which gains us, well, it's only gaining passive XP. Loot arrows. That's not a bad one. Uh, regeneration. That's probably a good one to have. Quite early doors. And what's this one? Dawn and Dusk. So we can hold and sit and contemplate and make time speed forward. I'm thinking the passive regeneration is probably a good one to have at the start. There we go. What I might do is I may the three bonus skill points we got, I thinking I'm thinking. Tell me if you think we should do it differently. We will use one every time we level up until all three are gone. So the first three levels will have two skill points to spend instead of one. That's kind of a fair way of using them. So should we go for the XP or should we loot our arrows? Arrow Retriever. Uh, I think we'll go Arrow Retriever. So we'll spend an extra skill point when we. You can equip a second bow. Hmm. So charged heavy attack is there. Parry. I want parry. That's probably our next one. I like parry. Air attack. That's not a bad one. Okay. Gear, again, unless you guys say otherwise, my thinking is we do not use the legendary weapons and gear we've, that we've, we've got. I just I don't think it's fair. Poison on here. The fang was on the shell. Anyway. Possibly when we get to naturally get to that kind of quality, then maybe. But I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you guys think? Damage is 44 a second. Damage is 41 a second. So actually, it's not that much more damage, strangely. But yeah, it's a choice of where we, do we use them now or do we wait? Right. So we need to go hunting. What is this here? I need some help with the requests on my table if you have any time. Let's 
grab this. Available quest, water rats. And we'll accept the family reunion as well. Two new quests. So there's lots to do in Siwa. Not like him to give up. And again, we haven't really, we don't know much about Bayek's backstory at this point. We know he's a Medjay. We know he took out the Ibis. But that is about all we've learned so far. Uh, get some arrows. Okay, so we need to craft materials. And to do this, we have to track the lever. So move the reticle, press X to track. There's the loads over there. I don't know where the best place to go hunting is. I'll probably out here, actually. There we go, we can track the animal. Let us head out. There's lots of question marks as well. But we need lever to, lever to um, craft a new breastplate. I forgot how in-depth some of the crafting was actually, to be fair. Look at the, that's a flamingo, I think, wasn't it? Okay, let's go hunting. First thing off the bat, we are going hunting. Can't see any, can't see any animals yet. Maybe they're further ahead than I thought. Ah, see something running around in the distance? I would, I would say I'm too far away to shoot at this point. Let's find out. Yeah, I'm too far away. I know I'm tracking others to my right. One down. Probably not enough for what we need. find out the detail though look you know we've we've got our arrow, arrow back the blood is on the floor free soft leather we also gained something else on that <laughs> senyu just took out a goat for us thank you very much senyu And we now have Thanks to the level we need. Hunting. Okay. Uh, how do I take that marker off? There we go. I love the fact that he says thank you afterwards as well. So crafting section is in gear. Is it? I can't think where... Tell me where to go. I just kind of go to the crafting section in the gear panel to upgrade your breastplate. I should have read it first. So breastplate is here we can craft a better breastplate there we go we've upgraded our breastplate this will work perfectly nicely done bit slow it's always a bit slow to start I'm, I'm learning the buttons at the same time i'm trying to remember things as well so we need to upgrade our braces we need wood uh soft leather for stabilizer glove and arrow capacity is wood again. Pardon me. Okay. So our quests, we have three on our one here. We've got family reunion, water rats. Been held prisoner with others for the crime of protest. Let's go and find these guys. We acquired this mission from our friend. A uh, letter from the C1 woman explains that her husband Terman and a group of local farmers have been arrested for testing or onerous tax increases. She asked for her husband who freed along with all the other farmers. Okay, that's what we're going to go and do. Find your target. Okay. So we're heading this way. Find the yellow line against the direction of your target. We've got circle. Find your target. Okay.
Target located. Perfect. Easily done. I suppose while we're around, we should still hunt. Because we're going to need more resources as we go, aren't we? So, like, these goats over here. We should still hunt. I like the fact we require we get our arrows back at least. That's a good thing. Okay. So our target is just ahead. My concern is are these soldiers here? The dust coming across. Tag enemies with your eagle. Okay, so similar to uh, Odyssey, you can actually tag enemies. will help us obviously scope out positions before you run in and get caught as is usually the case we are trying to get into that building though by the looks of it New location discovered, nicely done. There's three treasures to loot here. Which I'm assuming I don't know where the treasures are. So to clear this question what we have to loot the treasure. Oh it's in this building over here I think and I didn't actually mean to get all that highlighted up. Don't think there's any treasure here. No, it's in that building there. You need a lot of resources in this game, and you probably need to spend some time hunting and collecting. At least you won't have the same problems with inventory given full like an horizon. That's very true. I'm assuming there's an unlimited inventory. Yeah. I, it's me. The problem for me when I play any kind of games is if you have an inventory that fills up, I like to hoard everything. Because you never know what you're going to need, and there's nothing worse than getting rid of stuff and then five minutes later finding you actually need it. So I, I do hoard because of that. Okay. Who's seen me? There's a guard there. I didn't see him there. I missed the headshot as well, which would have killed him. Don't think he alerted anyone else. Do not let them see you. Okay, there is a guard up there, which is why I wanted to move the body quickly. I think we're okay. They're eating over there. As long as he stays away, we're okay. He's doing stealth more. Quickly. Yeah, no. def definitely seems the way forward. They are wound. Died from his He's wounds. Died from his wounds. His family will want to bury him properly. Where have we got to get him? Miles away. Okay, let's get out of here first. Without getting caught. And then we'll try and take him to where he needs to be buried. Right, where am I actually heading with him? Miles away. Uh, literally miles away. Okay. So I actually haven't looked. This is our first region as well. well look how much there is to do. Let's see what... Temple of Anun. So we've opened up the temple. We need to go and loot it to clear it. And how big is the actual map itself? So this is just Siwa. Look at that. It's, it's a big map. Wow. Like I say, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, heavily detailed as well. And I know there's hidden things you've got to find... Obviously, we do clear question marks and everything, so. I, call, I thought I called my horse. There we go. It's not a horse, I must remember. It is not a horse, it is a camel. Can I place the body on the back? On we go. It's not a horse. Gotta stop calling it a horse. 
Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to get around that way, am I? So I actually need to go this way around by looks of it. Uh, the setting is incredible, Keller. You are right, you know, the same the detail, the wind, the dust, everything is incredible in that, in that respect. But then I think a lot of the Assassin's Creed games, the level of detail is amazing. And it's, it's the building a game world, I think Ubisoft surpasses a lot of people because of how they do it and what they de the level of detail they put in. From the little clues, the visual stuff, to written stuff that you read as well, I think they are probably one of the best developers at it. Obviously, I'm going to try not to get attacked by anyone or make enemies come after me if I can help it. Stealth is definitely a good option. So we will try and do that as much as possible. I do have a bad habit of doing stealth and it going wrong, but we'll try and uh, do it as best as we can. Okay, so we're heading to the farm to finish this mission. The dead body. So similar to Odyssey in the fact you clear places of interest. Why are we being attacked? I didn't know. I don't know why we were suddenly under attack. Then they're not following me. Some are right. We've got away from. I don't. I don't know why they were after me. I must have done something wrong. Okay, we are at the farm, I believe. This farm's been burnt to a cinder. Yeah, his farm has been destroyed. How do I get him off? Carry, okay. He protested the high tax rates and they have destroyed his farm for it. I bring sad news. Where is Issa? She lies here with her son and daughter. The entire family? Sadly. I see Terror Moon also paid the price for his rebellion. Oh, so they killed the whole family. I warned him that his rebelliousness would Just because he rebelled against the taxes. That is horrendous, isn't it? They saw the soldiers coming and hid in the cellar. But the soldiers burnt the house to the ground to teach everyone a lesson. Ah, I am sorry. Put the body down there. They will journey to the Dua together. At least the family is together. So many deaths in the Wahat. We cannot give them a proper burial. That is bad. It's not your rebelliousness that got you killed, Seni. It is Ptolemy's sick regime. He is a bad pharaoh. Find peace. He will find more than he had here. There we go. Leveled up to level 3. We've got another ability point to spend. Leveling up's fairly quick by the looks of things. We are gaining XP fairly quick. I'm assuming that will slow down. Right, so we're going to spend two ability points this time. Um, I was thinking parry. I like parry. So you have your shield out front and then you press O to parry. Uh, that enables us to carry second melee weapon, doesn't it? But I'm going to hold off. We'll do the, we'll do the assassination XP next. There we go. That's a two point spent. Did there was a loot here? We'll be gaining soft leather and some coins. Right, where shall we head? So there is a mission over here, the healer side quest. There is a question mark. While we're this side of the of Siwa, I suppose we should really head. Say was going back this way. We'll go to the healer next. Um, one thing I haven't done, and I should do, is save. Uh, okay. Where is... Is it under... It's not going to be under options, is it? Where's my save point? I don't understand. It's 
So the ibis is the person after herons were done. That's the ibis. Um, I might have been really stupid. Where's my save point? Character, options, store, Ubisoft club, credits. Why can't I save? Or is it just an auto save maybe? Am I might have been really silly. Legend. Reload quest objective. That's your map. I might have been really stupid that you've there's no manual save. This is just an auto save all the time. It may be me. Um AC Origin save. There is no way to manually save your game, but the autosave system does things often enough that you don't need to worry. Okay, good to know. I, I assume there was a manual save, like, um, Odyssey, to be fair, but there we go. Lesson learned by me. Why? Why are we under attack? Take it the soldiers don't like us. Well, if they want to chase me, they can come after me. Um, stay off the main roads, I think, by looks of things. Seem to be causing trouble. Okay, we're looking for the healer who has a mission. Bayek. It does my heart good to have you again in Siwa. Then we gain a new location. Let's speak to the healer. It's a little bit frustrating not having a manual save. I use manual saves as a safety point, especially if there's a crash or something like that. Um, so not to have it is really Someone unusual. Tells me you are healing the villagers as best you can. It would give me much pleasure to help you. That is kind of you. May your car be blessed. I can always use help. The soldiers are brutes. Almost every villager has cuts, bruises, broken bones. To help them put together a makeshift perong in the old ruined temple. Friends bring me medicine from Yamu. But now the soldiers stop everyone entering the village and steal their goods. So, we try to bring medicine on a boat instead. And the soldiers stop that also? They sank the last shipment. The medicine jars are scattered across the bottom of the lake. Okay. Get them for you. We're going to go to the lake. Thank you, Bayek. Bring it to the old temple. I must go there now. So we need to go to the lake. Retrieve all the bottles. How many are there? There we go. There's also other. There's an underground entrance there as well. Come on there. Okay. So we need to retrieve her bottles of medicine jars. It doesn't look massively clean, does it? Obviously, keeping on uh, our oxygen levels. One jar. Don't go some hard leather there. There we go. Well, it's nice to see there's no sharks this time, unlike uh, Odyssey. We had a lot of sharks in Odyssey. I think that's all the loot that we can see at the minute. There is an underground entrance here, which I'm assuming is part of um, the question mark to clear. Is waiting for these jazz. I know she is. So there is a. This is there. There's three treasures to loot. One, two, three. While we're here, it may be worth clearing it. There's three soft leather there. What animal is that? 
So three treasures in here. So while we're here, we may as well try and clear it. I am a little bit concerned. There was an animal there. I don't know what it is. That's free soft leather. Okay. Where's my underground entrance? Just here. What are my treasures? One over here. A new shield. As I say, it's down to you guys if you think we should use the legendary gear we got as extras. If not, we won't. I, I don't personally think we should. Oh, we got a spear. Nicely done. What have we got here? Heavy blunt. We need to have a look at all these weapons. Location complete as well. I now need to remember how to get out of here before we suffocate. We've cleared that question mark. There aren't sharks in the game, but crocodiles though. I remember hippos as well. I don't know why I remember hippos, but I remember there being hippos. Yes, Lisa, hippos. And from what I remember, hippos weren't very nice. From what I remember. Where are we heading with the temple? Oh, okay, temple's back over here, so I'm glad we cleared this question mark. It's a nice little tick to say it's done. So we gained gear. I'm assuming the best thing to do is change regularly, similar to... Um, similar to Odyssey, until you get to high-end stuff. But like I say, it's down to you guys. If you think we should use the legendary stuff, let me know. But I, my kind of thing is, although we've got it as a bonus, I tend not to. Um, so quality is five extras. I'm not sure how the levels work in terms of gear. I'm assuming a level three gear is better than level one. The crocodiles in Red Dead Redemption 2 and 9 in the Swamps were nightmare. Yes. Yes. Crocodiles weren't fantastic in that. So quality is better. HP is better. So let's change our shield. In terms of weapon, I don't know what the best weapon is. Um, we've currently got our bronze. So spade of all trades. I do like, I love the names they give to weapons. You've got to peel them. Um, a rugged javelin, commonly used by Roman troops. We're in Egypt, but we've got a Roman pilum. We've got a spade of all trades. Some might dismiss this as a gardening implement. It serves just as well a fight. I love descriptions on the weapons. I really do. Uh, so our best weapon is actually the spear. I'm probably going to regret doing this, I'm sure. Long reach, average power. But I'll, I'll try and use the better, better weapon we've got. We can dismantle stuff as well. Once we start getting better. That's a rare spear. Right, so we are actually going to travel a decent distance now. We will try and do some hunting along the way, I think. There's an animal running away from us there. Oh, there's lots of animals dead here. What has killed all these? I'll take it, but I don't know what's killed them. That's a load of soft leather for free. Something's been killing these. And there's another one there. There we go. Always looking for extra resources where we can. Does that tell me that there's another animal nearby that killed all them animals? That I should be worried about, I wonder. Another one dead here. See was about to take one out as well. I missed it. Poor shot by me. Okay. Right, where are we heading? We're heading to the temple all the way over there, aren't we? Material, I don't know what the material is. There's transforming wood as well there. That's something we do need. I think about the legendary stuff, it's up to you what you prefer. I still think it wouldn't be cheating so you would need to continue to upgrade them to keep them on your level. Really? Oh, okay. They're not going to be massively overpowered off the bat. That's my concern. 
I don't like making everything too easy from the start. I like to be, you know, play as naturally as possible, and that includes leveling up naturally and not be too OP straight away. I don't want it to be easy. It's, got to, it's meant to be a challenge. It's not meant to be too easy. We might have a look at those in a minute, then. I, I like to be able to use the spear. I, that is the thing I really enjoyed about Odyssey, was the fact that you use different weapons constantly. Because you've always got something better to use. And I'm not one normally for changing weapons that often. But it forced you to. To stay ahead. And I liked the fact you could use different weapons a lot. And learn different ways of using them. Spears were my least favourite in Odyssey. Because of how the moveset was poor. So it'd be interesting to see how the moveset for spears in this works. Right, we're here. With the medicine. What has happened? Why aren't the patients in the Can't remember if Origins had any Isu weapons. Okay, be interesting to see. If we do or not. Every few weeks soldiers come to take our medicine and food stocks. Always the same soldiers. They call it a tribute. A tax for the Pharaoh's royal army. We barely have what's needed to take care of the poor souls that need our help. Vultures. Don't worry, Rabia. I will make certain they don't bother you anymore. Be careful, Bayek. Okay, we've promised to take out a load of soldiers by the sounds of it. Kill the soldiers pillaging the house. Okay. I'm assuming it is in this area we have to kill all these soldiers. With our spear. <laughs> Let's, I don't know how many there's going to be here. I can see a gold question mark in the distance as well. Uh, how many soldiers are we going to have to kill with, I wonder? There's treasures to collect by looks of it here as well. Is that, I don't know what that was, we just marked up, we marked something up. Okay, I, I'm assuming doing this carefully is probably the better option at this point, rather than full steam ahead. Most realistic from an RPG trilogy, do you reckon? You think they need to rework how spears work in games instead of being a quick and useful stab stab? They do these huge sweeping motions. Yeah, the Odyssey issue with um, spear was the move set was so limited. It was like you were fencing. If you look, if you look at how fencing swords are used, you know you stand on one foot, you lean forwards, you pivot. They kind of did that, and it annoyed me um, previously. Okay, I kind of want to call this guy over. Part of me wants to go into full-on fight, but I know that's probably a bad idea. Fine. Oh, it's a Papius is here. Okay, cool. Right. There's a lot of soldiers around. There's a lot of soldiers. I might end up in a big fight a little bit too quickly. Um, that's where stealth doesn't work very well. I get myself killed. We can take him down. There's a guy, second guy there. There's two guys over there. What is there? Uh, da, da, da. Just trying to formulate a plan in my head. Best way of doing this. A lot of them are very close together, which does make my life difficult. Oh, I see what you mean by the long sweep. Yeah, the long sweep is... That's poor for a spear. Oh, 
it's it's a decent reach, but it's yeah, that is poor. In terms of attacking, oh, I see me. Why is that a sweep? That is horrendous. We've got a distance at least, but yeah, that is horrendous. I wasn't expecting that as a way of using it. I was expecting um, a stab motion. That is weird. I'm just going to... Anything to grab? Get my looks for it. I kind of went full on instead of uh, being silent and deadly. Although we're not an assassin, we're a med -jay, so I suppose not being silent and deadly is not a bad thing. Right, we've two more soldiers to take out. And a Papius to gain as well here. Where's this guy? I love how the music changes. When you're sneaking up on someone, the, the sound effects change quite a bit. I've noticed he doesn't kill people, though, when you take them out like that. Where's my Papius? You can see where I come find me at the bottom of the only bowl big enough for God. Okay, I don't know what you gain for those when you find them, so we'll, we'll try and clear them as we go. Ammo's full. This guy is down. Right, I think we're all clear. We are all clear. Don't think there's anything else we can pick up. Right. We're good, we're done. Wasn't too bad. Um, using the shield helps, I think. Defending yourself. Yeah, not a fan of the spear, but currently it's our strongest weapon. So I can't really not use it. Um, yeah, not a fan. Okay, back to Rabia and tell her what we've done. Did you succeed? Of course. We always succeed. The temple is yours now. But yeah, you're definitely right, Lisa. They need to rework spheres. All my patience, thank you. Ah, I almost forgot to give you your medicines from the sunken boat. <laughs> you know the excitement. I forgot about them myself. The oasis of Siwa is lucky to have you, Rabia. Uh, <laughs> promise me you will not become consumed with your vengeance, Bayak. I think so it's nothing else. By the grace of Amun. So the story-wise, as it stands, it's telling us, everyone is saying, don't be consumed by your need for vengeance. It isn't explaining why, though, just yet. I'm assuming it will, the story comes a bit more later. I can't, I know what happens, but... I gained a necklace and a cat amulet. Okay. Uh, we can upgrade our stabilizer glove. Well, we might as well while we can. There we go. Stabilize the increase their range damage. Nicely done. We've got an ability point to spend as well. Um, so I think we should have this ability. And we can spend one of our extra ability points as our last one. Salesman, animal goods and trinkets can be sold for extra money. Uh, sleep darts, fire bombs. Uh, weapon, you can equip a second melee weapon. Now that's kind of the best thing to have early on we can now equip two weapons what was my so we get so we got animal goods ibex horns what are these trinkets a necklace oh you sell them for money then basically and a cat amulet okay we've got two of those i'm assuming we just pick up random stuff and sell it i believe if i remember correctly and tell me if i'm wrong but i've got a feeling isn't there a trophy for selling a hundred trinkets in one go from what I remember, um, which if that's the case, we've got to we'll hold off. Right, we can now equip a second weapon. So you don't think these are going to be that massively overpowered? If we compare it to our current P lamp, fifty damage, quality thirteen. The Fang is actually less damage 
and one one extra quality, which isn't too bad. Not sure how easy it is to upgrade. So shall we? We'll have the fang then. If you don't think it's an issue using them, yeah, there we go. And we'll see what happens in terms of how quick it becomes useless. Um, but we'll try and focus on the spear. It's a level three. Right, where are we heading next? Let's have a look at our map. So what else is there to clear here? We've obviously got a bowl. It says there's a bowl. For that we'll have a look at that. The if I remember correctly, where I don't know where they're located. I must admit, the Papius. Where are Papius located? Was it coming to a quest? False Oracle, Water Rats, Main Side. Okay, where are Papius then left? Obviously, in Odyssey, there was a separate. Oh, it's up here. In Siwa, come find me at the bottom of the only bowl big enough for a god. So, my thinking is, and I could be completely wrong, there's a circle of water there. That's kind of where I possibly it could mean. I could be completely wrong. But that, in my eyes, could be. So we'll have a quick look. If it's not, it's not. And it's like we'll try and we'll try and clear um, everything as we go. Papius, I don't know what they give you, so they may turn out not to be worth our time. We cleared as much as we could in Odyssey as we went until we ran into some difficulties trying to find a few. And they gave engravings. Hello, Nomad. How are you? You've been waiting for this, have you? Okay, well, this is a bowl, in my eyes. Does it mean there's something at the bottom of it? There we go. Pappy is sold. We, and we've not got our first trophy. Elementary, my dear Bayak. Trophy earned. So we sold the first Papius. And that gives us a new shield. So let's have a look. Our first new shield, a phalanx shield, a classic defence weapon used by Ptolemaic infantry units. I probably said that completely wrong, admittedly. Uh, Quality is a lot better. HP is better. And new. So it seems you get weapons gear from Papius, so that makes them worthwhile clearing as we go, then I would have said. You're good, thanks. You'll probably buy this after watch. If you're going to buy it, I will recommend to you now to go to, well, as soon as you want to. I think it runs out. I don't know how long you've got, but... So I brought yesterday the gold edition, which comes with the season pass and the deluxe stuff for £22.99 British pounds. Um, the game itself is £10. The season pass is £32.99. Deluxe edition is £69.99. So while there is currently an offer on PlayStation Store, my suggestion would be to get the Gold Edition because it's cheaper and you also get um, the Season Pass included for less money than it costs to buy the Season Pass. So the Gold Edition is the best value for money currently. If you wait to do the Papius, the gear would be upgraded to your level. Oh! Oh, Okay. That's not a bad shout, then. So we should wait until we've nearly finished an area, then, in theory. Okay, there is a Strike in the Anvil quest there. What other quests have we got currently? I think it's Water Rats, wasn't it? It's quite a way away, though. So where is that? Um, oh, that's miles away. Okay. Bandits have taken over an important spring and stalked in the palms of water. So I think before we head there, maybe we should go and clear this temple. Since we're nearby. Gold edition on Xbox Live 17.99. That is the most value for money I think you'll get. You don't know, but it's been a long time since you played. Well we can we can check it out. We can leave one and see if it does um, 
do that. I'm quite happy to give it a go. And wait. I just I was excited about solving my first one. <laughs> okay. So let's clear this area. Um, so there's treasures to find. Uh, the buildings all over that. I'm assuming we're not welcome in here. Would be my assumption. And yet we need to go in here to, to clear it. Uh, there's one there. Okay. Right, we will have to be careful clearing this. I think I'd rather not get into a massive fight. There's three treasures to loot in here. Oh, it's any guards currently. Full on ammo. Hyenas are also not friendly. Hyenas are, aren't friendly. To be fair, I'm not surprised. Music's changed. Have I got an enemy nearby, I think? There we go. That's our first one cleared. We've got jewel swords. Right, where are the rest of these treasures in this building, in this area? That's the first treasure cleared. I don't know where the rest are. Lion, there's lions in the game. I wouldn't. I would expect them to be. To be fair, I've got three treasures to loot. I can't find them. Oh, there's one there. Have I already marked them up? Maybe. Could be the other thing. I may have already marked them up. Oh no, that's just the area. Is, is that a treasure? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So we'll stay high and hope to avoid trouble. Uh, I don't know where the treasures are. That's not a treasure, is it? That's the location. There's lots of guards as well, which I'm trying to avoid. I wonder if they're more in the temple over here, maybe. We may be here too early as well, that's the other thing. Isn't it? That's a treasure. And that's a treasure. Oh, right, so they're both around the other side. We need to get round over there, I think, by the things. Uh, without getting caught and creating a big fight because I think we'll just get our butts kicked this early on. Although one thing we can do to go in our favour set a trap. People are complaining they've been locked up so I'm assuming there are people being kept prisoner. Okay, I need to get up there. I like the way the music changes when you're kind of getting yourself near enemies. Okay, we're doing okay. We're, we're being sneaky at this point. We were nearby, I thought we might as well clear this while we're here. Why is that man asking us to get him out? Where are you going? Okay, there's a treasure below us. Well, there's a man around. Right, one treasure here. New bow. 
We need to look at that shortly. Where is my last treasure? There's a guard there. Treasure is just around here. I wasn't really going to take anyone out, but I don't want to also get caught. Someone was asking us to help him escape, but I don't know who he is. Um, I think we need to try and get into here for that last treasure. There we go, treasure is there. Can I see any guards? No. We lost a little bit of health doing that. Carbon crystal. Right, we've cleared all the treasure from this location at least. I'm assuming we'll have a mission soon to rescue these people, I think it is. Right, where should we head? We have located a mission, but it's, it's up in those mountains. We could head over there now though. It's hidden in the mountains northeast of the house. Okay, let's head that way. Lots of animals. Animals are good, it's going to be wary. I know there's something about taming animals as well, isn't there? Something we've never really done in, in games, to be honest. Have you seen the viewpoints yet? No, I haven't. Good point. <laughs> they forgot about viewpoints. Where is the viewpoint? Uh, I can fast travel to see what there. Where is it? I don't know what everything is. I need to have a look at icons. Uh, legend. Where is viewpoint? Quest giver, quest objective. Avenge quest. Viewpoint is this symbol. Symbol of the bird. Right, there's a viewpoint just here. Oh, there's more than one viewpoint now. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit slow this morning, I must admit. Right, we'll go to this viewpoint first. And then head for the mission up there, I think. Because we are near the viewpoint. I completely forgot about viewpoints. I don't know why. It's a staple of Assassin's Creed. But I completely forgot. This is why it takes a long time for us to clear games. It's because we do everything. Right. I'm assuming we're allowed in. No one's going to try and kill us. Okay. Up we go. I haven't looked at the weapons we just gained either, have I? We need to do that. Viewpoint is here. Let's do our first viewpoint then. Well remembered, thank you very much for that. We would have got there eventually because we would have seen the markings on the map. But yeah, I completely forgot. I tend to do viewpoints first. Normally. So as far as the story is telling us, we're just trying to help our village, and that's it, really. There's no, there's nothing else to the story. We know he, he's got to, re he's plotting with it. He's trying to revenge something, but the story hasn't told us what at this point. Nice jump. Okay, gear. We did just gain a new weapons, didn't we? We gained a, a motivational duet, a very fast, short reach blades. Um, what else? Is, that, is that all we gained? And, a, and we gained a good brand blade. So if we compare that... Okay, I'm just trying to work out the best way of doing this. I tend to have two melee weapons. One is heavy blunt spear, that kind of stuff. And something sword, daggery kind of. That's my two choices, I think. So we'll look at heavy blunt to do with and spears in the same bracket at this point. And if anything's better, we'll use the better. Um, currently, it's not. And then we'll swap the swords between swords and dual swords, by the looks of it. Um, but at the minute, the quality is less. And I'm assuming quality is better than damage. So, although dual swords do do more damage, my thinking is quality is better. So that's what we'll stick with. Okay, so from here, there's a question mark here. 
We might as well go and have a look at. And then we'll go and clear this mission. The water rats, which was given to us by our friend. I don't know what this question mark will be and what it entails, but we'll find out in a second. I'm sneaking because I don't know if we're allowed here. But it's not going yellow, so I'm assuming we are. What is this place? Coral Inc. Coral Escarpment Camp. Okay, it's got red. You like that there's lots of hyenas and you get lots of leather from them. I haven't met a hyena yet. I'm looking forward to the different animals. Um, this is a camp. I don't know what we're meant to do here, though. Nothing has come up. Are we allowed here? Soldiers are coming fast. Okay. There is, there's a, oh, okay, so I'm assuming we have to take this out. Um, but it hasn't given given me what yet. I don't know if we've got to leave it and, it, and we haven't got to this point, maybe? I don't know. It hasn't told us what we need to clear. We normally do. I should not be seen in this oh, there we go. Kill Captain Loot Treasure. He gave it to us. Just took his time telling us. Right, treasure is there. And the captain we've got to kill is all the way over here. Uh, I'm on the wrong kind of building then. Can I, get, I can get across. I can get across this way. Trees. It's the thing with clearing everything, it's just trying to find best ways. These guys were asleep. Treasure is here. Sickle sword. We'll set the trap just in case we stupidly get caught, which more than likely. Now we can loot a couple of bits here. Nicely done. More money, more leather. We're heading across the captain. Now I've got a feeling. We can't take him out in one. Money doesn't seem to be an issue. I would have, wouldn't have said. We seem to be getting quite a lot of it. Okay. Can we not assassinate? Because I don't think we've got a blade or anything. Can we take him out in one, though? Yes, we can. There you go. We'll just stamp on his chest and be done with him. We have completed the encantment camp. Nice done. New weapon. Objective in close proximity. What are we? This is the water rats mission. Our friend gave us. Where is the looking? There we go. Target located. There's treasure there as well. Oh, the camps are usually easier. It might be because more guards are asleep. They are at night, aren't they? Yeah. If you go, if you do camps at night, they are a lot easier. So the cave is hidden in the mountains northeast of the house, which is this was a mission given to us by Hep Zephyr. Again, I apologise for pronunciations. They're probably massively off. But yeah, it's a fairly simple one. I in camps, I tend to I. Kill the bandits off the camp. I tend to take out whatever the objective is. I don't tend to kill if we don't need to. And that's always been my play style in uh, most Assassin's Creed games. We don't kill unless we need to. To defend ourselves or as part of the objective. What is that? That's treasure by looks of it. Okay. Something sleeping animal wise up there. This is the cave. Oh Help me. Who's this? Is that you? What are you doing? 
Bayek, I heard you were back. Keep quiet. They'll hear you. I'm sure this person talking to us. The bandits, the bastards, took over the spring. Almost everyone on this side of Siwa gets their water from here. Right, so we need to take out the bandits so the people get their water supply back. That is the plan. If the no idea. Come, tell me, and I'll pay. Okay, there's a guy here. So the the farmers depend on the this, the um, pulse you do doesn't highlight enemy. Siwa does. In the cave, downside to highlight an enemy. So you can't see where they all are. I'm kind of guessing. And there's three treasures to live in here as well. It's a bit more difficult when you're doing a cave. Doorway. There's a doorway. I'm looking for the other treasure. I may have marked them all up. Okay, let us see what we can do. Where is all the enemy? I'd rather not a face-to-face -face fight. We shall see. I'll swap to my sword for this. I wasn't I definitely wasn't a fan of the uh, spear. The reach is good, but other than that, it is horrendous. I'm sure we're going to get seen by that guard the minute we try and do anything. Headshot won't kill him either. This may be a mistake. Yep. We've taken one down. I don't like the fact this sword glows. Do not like the blue on the sword. Hey, hold on. Okay, we're swapping back to the spear. I'm not a fan of the spear for its move set, but I'm not a fan of that blue. Okay, they're now searching for us. There's still one guy here. You will make a mistake. See you later. He's not the last guy, there's still one more guy here. I don't need the torch. New sword, good, because I'm looking forward to changing that legendary sword out. Because that is horrible. I think it's the, it's the poisoning it does. This is why it glows. I've got a new bow. I haven't changed my bow actually. We did gain a new bow. Let's just take this guy out first. Deal with him. That's it. Mission, mission completed. But we need to clear this cave, and there is still one uh, thing to pick up. To be fair, combat isn't too bad. It's find a new quest. When you want to find a new quest, look for. Exclamation point, your eagle can help you find it, or you can directly open your world map. Cool. That's the cave, we're still at one treasure to loot. Oh, there's a viewpoint over there. Uh, cool. Let's finish this cave first. Yeah, combat's not bad. The blocking is a bit iffy, but I'm assuming that will get better as we get more higher gear. But then I'm not, I don't think I'm taking too much damage. And we are still getting used to some iron there. So this is area complete. 
There is a viewpoint nearby. Um, if we're close enough, we may, might as well go there now. So obviously, this is another... Where is this viewpoint? Well, it's a little way away, I suppose, isn't it? Really fast to get to. Okay, there is a mission over here. The hideaway. There is a mission here. There's a statue. Got the weaver. So what have we got left to do here then? There's a viewpoint. Question mark. Just trying to work out our next plan of attack. There was a gold question mark over here we need to visit as well at some point. Uh, in terms of our quest currently on, we've got the false oracle. And that is it. At level 5, which is our level, to be fair. But I suppose before we do that, we should clear everything. So should we head to this question mark, the hideaway? And open, see what that quest is. Uh, that's uh, probably too far away from us. At this point. Gear-wise, we have got a new bow. Uh, we haven't changed bow. We've got an arc bow, which is a light bow. Um, use the target enemies in quick succession. Does uh, a lot more damage than our current. And we have a big game bow. Now, I'm not a fan of light bows. Because they're more used for up close and personal kind of thing. I prefer hunter bows and things like that. So we'll go for the big game bow. In fact, the big game bow is the better bow anyway. Uh, sword, do we get a better sword? No. Uh, on par of it is the Ammon's Blade, found in the Siwa Oasis, the Oracle of Zeus, Ammon. Intricate details of the life of Ammon are sculpted onto the blade. It does more damage, but is and is the same quality, so I will take that. I did not like that blue. I will say that straight away. Um, let's just say the fang is one better quality, but I don't. Oh, it's better because we're on the other thing. I'm looking at a long thing. Uh, we got scepters. We've not tried a scepter yet. This one is better than what we're using. It's less damage, better quality. The combo multiplier and shield. Do we gain any more? No. Perfect. So I think there's everything kind of done. Ability points, we gain an extra. What do we concentrate on next? I'm not worried about selling stuff at this point. Overly. Automatically loot an enemy after assassinating them. That's why we need two for that. It's probably a good skill. What's this up here? You can equip a second bow. Not massively worried. Charged heavy. Overpower Ultra. Okay, that's interesting. And we need two for this Overpower Combo. Overpower XP. It's not bad. Attack and Push. Similar to throwing people off a cliff in Odyssey, isn't it? Adrenaline. Okay, that's a passive. You start with... I haven't used the um, Overpower move yet, have I? It's like we will probably need to look at. An Air Attack. We did an air takedown previously. I haven't done an air attack. What do we think? Air assassination. You mean the, we've done air assassinations, haven't we? But we haven't done air attack. So you, I think air attack probably then. It was either that or the maybe the overpower ultra. But again, we haven't really used overpower ultra as of yet. So yeah, I think you. I think you're right. I think we'll go for the air attack. Gives us a little bit of extra. Um, there, We've got some animal goods here. I never found a sculpting material. Gazelle hooves, ibex horns. I'm curious when we're going to need those. Okay, so uh, targets. Sorry, these are annoying me. I've got exclamation points. I'm assuming we don't know much about it, do we, the Ibis? Does it sound like the Ibis? Most of the men bark is after as a yet nameless. We have discovered the name of Medimon. Stalled as Oracle of Siwa by Ptolemy. Medimon oversees the Temple of Ammon. It's true and just, however, appears to be the vault beneath the temple. We've brutalised the village and effort to learn the vault secrets. Okay. So we think we know where we're heading. We're going to head across. From here, we're going to go 
this quest over here. I think that's a good option. Oh. Bayek, the spring, you got it back. Okay. Thank the gods. The farmers need this desperately. I didn't expect someone I'm to come and start like. It's like having our Medjai back again. I'm glad I could help. May a moon walk with you, Seni. So we got praised for helping the farmers. You can sell trinkets at any shop. I know. I don't tend to sell items, but I also know there is a trophy for selling 100 items in one go. Um, I don't tend to sell items. It's, I don't know why. It's just, unless we are desperate for something, I don't tend to. Right, let us go. Let us see what this mission is over here. There's a gold question mark as well, it's saying. Ahead of me. The gold question mark is in roughly the same place as this quest, or is it no, it's further to the left, I think. We shall see. There is a gold question mark. Why is that? Okay. I know there's a gold question mark over all the way over here. But I couldn't see there's no gold question mark on my map, unless I'm being truly blind. But that is telling me there is. You can't remember when you get the hidden blade? No, I am, I'm curious about that myself, because obviously we haven't got it currently. I'm assuming as part of the story you get it, but I don't know. Right, there is a mission here. I've just got to find the entrance. Or roughly where it is. We do have full damage, got to remember that. Right, what is this mission? See what we have found here. It is dangerous here. Get on home. Bye. You're back? Where is Chenzera? He wanted to see the skulls in the hyena den, but the uh, hyenas came back. What? I ran this way. Chenzera ran over by the tomb. You are lucky the hyenas didn't chase you. Go back to the village. We're gonna go and find his brother in the hyena's den. What? Do I have to tell my parents? <laughs> Chenzera got you into this. He will have to talk to them. Now go ahead. I do like the voice. Right, we'll track the quest. Hide away. It looks like we're heading in. Um, we haven't faced hyenas as of yet. Find the ancient tablet. There's an ancient tablet in here. And Senu is not available. Okay. I can use a torch to illuminate. Alright, so we're looking for an ancient tablet. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, Minotep the Great Par, more like Minotep the Cheap. There's no way to get all the idols I know are here. I smashed through one of those blasted walls, but the scams are vicious. I'll come back later with something to kill all the bugs. Your damn tip is killing me. And then. Okay. So there is something behind the walls, I would have said. I don't know if we're going off piste and we should be heading that way. He smashed the wall over there, didn't he? We've smashed this one. I may be going off piste and not following the mission at this point. Chenzera, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Bayek, is that you? You've come back. Okay, so he's through there. And obviously, we can't get through there. So we need to find another way round. What do we got? Something flashed up so I thought I about to destroy everything. Did you get it? How did Chenzo oh. get through here? Okay, there is stuff to pick up. Mother of Teti, wife of Minotep, the face of Agatha Cleo is like that of Wavet. 
When he ascends and lifts himself to the sky, the eyes of Agatha clear are like those of the Great One who is the chief of the souls of Heliopolis, where radiance prevail in the afterlife. Okay, we're just reading random things that are around. Okay, these look like these move. So if we smash these, we should be able to move this across. Alright, maybe we go the other side and push. Nope. I love the fact that all these movable things have a holder for your torch. Same in Odyssey as well. Right. I'm assuming I should be heading down. The boy's here. Jensen, are you alright? I can't believe you are back. What have we found? There's loads of stuff to collect. What have we found in it? Be in here. I'm hiding from hyenas. Fenuku told me about that. It's not enough to get yourself in Yeah, you will go out of the cave, don't you, do Sunny? Brother in danger? But it's with Hemu gone. Alright. I understand. Let's get you out of here. Let's not leave just yet. Got things all. Look at that. What is it? That's the ancient I'd like tablet. To myself. Must be very old. Oh, we get a new shield. Let's have a look Which at this tablet. That way, but that's where the hyenas are. What does the tablet do? I'm assuming we get a skill point. Ancient we'll find out in a second. From the old kingdom. Trophy achieved, Raider of the Lost Tomb, well, Mounting of the Tomb, what is it, finished. It's my fault about him. They asked where you were, and I didn't think it would hurt anybody if I told them. Chenzera, don't feel bad. You had no way of knowing what they would do. Anyone would have done the same thing in your place. I love reading everything that we find, that's the thing. Amon welcomed Minotep, for he was possessed of a divine heart, which was beneficial. Benef Beneficent towards the gods, we have given gold in large quantities, emeralds in large quantities, and grain in large quantities to the temples. He guided us and have given very many lavish spiritual gifts to make Siwa prosperous, to advance to Mert. I love reading everything that's in. There's all these hidden little things that are within a game. Well, I'm assuming we're leaving this way. There was another. There was another way. Up there, wasn't there? I, was, I don't know if I've missed it. Keep close. He said that the noise they hide make people discover new abilities. Yeah, there was another way, but I don't know where that took us. I love, I love how the spider webs um, disappear. Are we, uh, oh, is that where we're heading? I'm assuming this is our sliding point. Is he coming? Why is he not following? Why well, made a mistake because he's not coming up. I'm, I'm hoping he will just follow me. I might have to go back in in a sec and retrieve him. No, he's he's catching up now. Hyenas! Hyena! hide! I'm not blocking them very well, I must admit. Come on. Right, another one down. Where's the boy? Oh, the cat, there's a... There's something else attacking them. Oh, now I'm being attacked by whatever it is. I've got my overpower now. Right, I think we've killed everything. Leopard fur. That was a leopard. Can I ask you something? The staff's nice. That was a decent moveset. Well, Chenzo wants to be a, what like us. And not taking him to dangerous places. I promise. Now get back home. 
Okay, we've completed the cave. We've com I think we've completed that mission at the same time. Gain a bit of leather. Um, my only concern is I feel like we've missed something in there. I know it says completed. But we went... There was more than one way to go in there. And do we go back in and just see if there was anything else to pick up? Or do we think it's done? It's probably done. There was we could have gone right instead of going left. That's that's my only thinking. Okay. We've got another question mark over here. There's a viewpoint nearby question mark mission. What do we gain gear wise? It's similar to Odyssey, the fact you're constantly checking your gear. A little bit frustrating. Uh obviously the snakes on the shield isn't as good as the one we're using. Um and the phalanx shield seems better. Classic defensive weapon used by the Polymaic infantry units. Does that mean we can actually dismantle? Because it's the same shield, the Phalanx shield, we can probably dismantle the other one. If we get the, if we get the same weapon with the same name but a better quality, I think we can dismantle. That's kind of my kind of thinking. I don't think we've got any other weapons. But yeah, the scepter we're using... It's a decent move set. Must have We've got new ability as well. You do gain abilities pretty quickly. Uh, what are we heading for this time in terms? Yeah, safe as mantle. That's my thing. If it's the same name and you get one that's better quality, dismantle is possibly the best way. Okay, what are we looking at? We can we can equip two bows. That may be the way forward. I'm not worried about XP at this point. I don't think. Attack and push. I don't think we'll use a second bow, but we can equip it, I suppose. Ready? Or do we have the charged heavy attack? Hold R2 to charge a heavy attack, a fully charged heavy attack with shield break, low tower shields, and knock enemies to the ground. That might be a decent one to have, actually. There we go. We'll take that for the time being. Right, we are heading to this question mark. The best part of, of any game that I enjoy is the exploration, finding things. That not everyone else will find because they don't spend the time exploring. I do like that side of things. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're going to need it for enemies with shields, a charged heavy attacks. Generally always going to be useful, isn't it? Right, there is a vantage point here. We've discovered a new location. It's a home. Whose home? I don't know, but it says home. Is it going to be our home? Oh. We're going to loot a treasure. I'm assuming this is our home. Where is the treasure? There's, some, there's a treasure here. I just don't know where it is. Why is my treasure not showing up? Okay, for some reason, treasure isn't showing. There's something around... There's something in there. I'm assuming I might have to climb up to get it. What's that? How do I get in? Okay. Oh, I, I can break the wall. I didn't know I could break the doors. But there is supposedly a treasure somewhere in here, but I couldn't get it to show up. The problem with exploring and dying and things, it may do things too soon. Ah, treasure's here. Cut scene, that's interesting. What have we got? That's a lovely sword. That's a really nice sword. I like the look of that. What is that? We're going to learn a bit more about Bayak. So this is our home. We've got Kemu's toy, which is a quest item. 
Again, we've probably come here a little early. Um, because we didn't have a quest for it, but hopefully it won't matter. Uh, Gear-wise, sword-wise, we've now got a new... The Sana Kopish. The sword we use my bike's far, but a sabre caravan lost in the desert. It's not as good as the sword we're using. So we'll stick. Already obsessed with the game again. I know. You, you get into them really easily, don't you? So we, we've got a quest item without doing the quest, which does happen. Um, we will hopefully be able to... It, they generally don't matter. You can find things before you get the quest. We did a lot in Odyssey. We'd find quest items before we actually got the quest to do them. Right, viewpoint is up here. Let us go to this viewpoint. Uh, it's a long way up. I'm assuming there's nothing to find here. No, uh, yeah, there is a couple of loots. We've found a restricted area camp. It's another camp to take out. Let's do the viewpoint first. The other thing with Assassin's Creed games, oh, these are the latest three anyway. Because everyone has their own way of playing them. You know, we clear everything as we go. Um, other people only do the qu the main quest. Other people clear everything at the end. Everyone has a different way of playing. And that's why that's what fascinates me is they can be played in so many different ways. Full ammo. We haven't really struggled for arrows. We got a new bow. We need to look at that. Uh, it's a, I wonder if the, the paper there was something to read. Okay. And synchronize. The save, the lack of saving for me is a hindrance. I like saving often, so that is an issue for me. Admittedly. A stone sucker. I brought him here not so long ago. What stone circle? Okay, another belief point. There is a gold question mark further out there. Upgrade the quiver. I don't think I've upgraded it at all yet, actually. And oh, no, we haven't. We need... I think that's wood, I think. Alright, we can now have two bows. I haven't put a second one in, actually. Can we have... No, we haven't got the skill for two bows. We just gained a different bow. This is a warrior bow. So I don't know what the difference is. This is the favoured multi-arrow Nubian bow, simply. Um, multi-arrow. I'm not a fan of multi-arrow either, to be honest. I like to try to do quests before clearing because it's frustrating to have to redo camps and forts. Yes, it is. I'm, admittedly, it is. Um, we've kind of done this a little bit backwards to how we normally do. We try and clear an area, try and do things on the way. The camps we generally leave just in case we go there for a mission. Um, I must admit, I, we, yeah, we kind of do a bit of both. I'm kind of getting a bit carried away with exploring at the minute. Um, so that does... I'm not a fan of multi-shot bows. It's like a shotgun, isn't it? Essentially. So we won't change. Right, where are we going to head next? There is a camp here. Kill Captain Loot Treasure. There is a mission here. I think we should head to the mission. I'm kind of getting carried away with exploring. We're not really solving... We're not really getting anywhere, story-wise, because I'm not doing the missions. Um, we will... Probably, let's head to this mission, striking the anvil. We will have a look at the black and the statue. I think we have to destroy the statue. There's a stables, there's a weaver, there is a camp here. We will come back for the camp, is my thinking. Um, because, yeah, I am kind of getting carried away with exploring rather than clearing missions. So we'll go to this mission, then we'll have a look at the other mission. We still have any quest log, which is the Ibis. And then we'll have a look at what is left to clear for this area afterwards. I do want the story to carry on a little bit, as we don't know enough yet. So the statue, I believe you destroy them, and there's a certain amount to destroy around Egypt. But also, if you get caught destroying it, I think you get attacked, if I remember correctly. Dolomy. 
He has brought great sorrow to us all. Yeah. Destroy statue of King Ptolemy. But at least it's nice to now know how to pronounce it. Ptolemy, not Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to get attacked for this. The move set for spears is actually really nice. The statue has been destroyed, but not the men behind it. There we go. Right, there is a quest here. Let us strike in the anvil. Fire! Our magi, you're back. We are indeed. What happened to your blacksmith shop? You think you've completed the sea, sea with question marks and quests? Have you done much of the main story? Saw me making a sword and accused me of being a rebel. He was not wrong. They confiscated my tools. They confiscated the blacksmith's tools. Bastards! All of Siwa needs a blacksmith. Even why would you take his tools away? I'll not help you, Bayek. Not until I get my hammer and tongs back, and I have to get that ugly ass Apap captain off my ass. Is this captain with the tools somewhere I can find him? At the foot of the hills west up here. Camp Shetje. He's at the camp we've already cleared. I will get those tools back. By any chance. This is why missions should be done first. Benny, they said the tools are in Camp Shetje. Yeah. And the captain... No, it's the camp we haven't done. That's lucky, isn't it? Find and kill the captain. Right, I'm glad we didn't do that camp. Because obviously we've got to go there now for mission. This is why missions should be done first. Prime example. Okay, we're going to get the tools back and kill the captain. Yeah, it's prime example of why you should hold off and do missions. A pep means snake, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. There is also a treasure in that camp as well. But yeah, this is why missions should come before question marks. Save we going backwards. Okay, we're going to get the tools, we're going to kill the Is captain, Bayek, the and we may as well clear the camp at the same time in terms of the treasure. Now, how many men are we going to face? This is my first question. So tools, I believe, are there. That's the tools. I don't know where the treasure is in here. There's a bird hunting. I love the fact you're being... The birds are there. Uh, that's their warning fire, so we've got to be a bit wary of that. The captain is there. We do need to kill him. There is a treasure that I haven't found. Again, we I don't if I don't need to kill men, we generally don't unless we get ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation. In, in theory, I can just walk through the door. Or well, the way the water flows in. By the looks of like there's no men around. Seems a bit of a silly camp. There's no guards. I must be careful now. Okay. I take it there's no back way into these tents by the looks of things. Yeah, why is there no guards? It's a bit silly. I can just walk in. Uh, we can loot. We can interact. Urgent. Dear Muthis. It's important that we keep a foothold in Siwa, or else we'll have our heads. I love you all, my car. However, no amount of offerings or prayer will can replace the will of a warrior, but through battle we speak to the gods. So car must be heart, I would say. Rough guess. Tools. There we go. We have the tools, and that was also the treasure. So we could have cleared the camp first, got the tools without knowing we'd have to do it for part of a mission, it would have come up as a mission thing. It's like we've done with our own house, we've gained the toy before the mission. But it does seem that you can grab these things before. There is a guard walking on, this one holding off. I know we're really nearby to hide as such. But yeah, I think it's important to keep the story flowing as well as clearing an area. Obviously we'll try and clear an area before we leave an area. This guy's walking towards us. We're going to be ready to take him out. Where's he going? No, he's got his, he's got his back to us. Fight. Okay, I will quickly pick him up. Obviously, I'd rather not get seen by people. And Why can't I pick him up? 
It won't let me pick him up. That's annoying. I was going to hold, hide the body, but it wouldn't let me. Okay, the captain is here. If we can take him out discreetly, that would be the better option. There's a lot of people walking around at this point, though. And we've just left the body on the on laying there. It may go against us. Okay. Where are you heading? I'd rather not have a full-on fight if we can help it. And we haven't taken out their warning system either. There's lots of guards walking around. Go to sleep. I know it's the middle of the day, but, you know, let's go to sleep. Why don't let's pick these guys up for some reason? Okay. There's grass in here. Oh, I've been saying. I didn't see these guys. That was my fault. I didn't see them hiding there. They were sitting there just chatting amongst themselves. And I decided to go straight in. I can't dodge. Give him a butt kicked as well. Oh, I'm nearly dead. I am nearly dead. Oh no, I've killed him. Soldiers trying to light the brazier. That's not what I need. Many people will be pleased to hear it. I really thought I was going to die then. I lost a lot of health. So when the attacks, I didn't realise when the attacks show up as yellow, blocking doesn't seem to work. From what I found, I think that's correct. I'm assuming they're strong attacks and the block doesn't help. Which I didn't realise at the time. I do now. So we'll be a bit more careful. There is a stables here as well. Get out of my way. Oh, I'm out of your way. Leave me alone. Stop you. Right there. Mm. Why does someone shout stop? don't know. Uh, I don't know what you can do at the stables. We'll have a look. While we're here, can I help you? we can buy and sell. Um, so there's mounts. I'm assuming they don't change, it's just look. I'm happy with my camel. Okay, we're heading back to the blacksmith. And we can give him back his tools. How did it go? How did it go? Yeah, eh, it was okay. But Captain won't ever come back here. At last, I can reopen my shop. So the blacksmith, I'm that. assuming, is unlocked. My pleasure. And myself, I have Watch Dogs 2 on the go, house. but I'm only completing it 100% because of plan. Oh, yeah, see, I am... Go ahead. Choose one. Oh, we can choose a weapon. Oh, nice, we're going to choose a weapon. Um, I tend to not... I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with online trophies. They get them annoying. Well, we can choose one of four weapons. That bow uses a special twine. It does not strike deep, but you can shoot very quickly. It's a light bow. Not overly fast of a light bow. Spear. That spear, sharp and long. You can keep we had the, the spear animation is not fantastic. What have we got? What's this? It is not large, a mace. A crack a skull with the best of them. Okay, there is a mace and there is a shield. The shield is made with bronze and leather. Good protection. Some weapons bounce right off it. We probably, I don't know, what do we, should we go for? The, let's have a look at the mace. I think we'll, we haven't got a mace yet. So we'll take the mace. There we go, heavy blunt. First time I've had a mace. Thank you very much. Quest completed. There we go. 
We've got a skill point to spend. I didn't even realize we still had to spend. So this is the blacksmith where you can get new weapons. Uh, if we go to gear, we were using the. Um, oh, we can finally saw devotee of Montu. We were using the Pharaoh's uh, the C1 scepter before. Pharaoh's mace is now also on there. This is the gruesome matok slow but powerful your enemies would do well to avoid the path of this weapon swing um does more damage it's same quality but it's slower no i don't think they should make them part of the uh, platinum that's the only that's why i kind of ignore online trophies so regular swords sickle swords and dual swords will be one slot and then the heavy blunts the scepters and spears will be the other and we'll try and use the better weapon each time that's a level five this is a level four so it's a lower level but more damage is slower though but i want to try it out see what it's like um ability we've got another ability point ability points just keep on coming what are we looking at this time um uh, some of them we need two for the assassination loot we need two skill points, which probably is a decent one to have. It just saves you having to keep looting yourself. But it means we'll have to save the skill point. We can wear two bows if we wanted to. We could acquire that. That might not be a bad option to have two bows. Um, and then save our points for when we get uh, when we can get the stealth. Um, assassination loot. Let's take the bows. There we go. I don't know what's in the inventory. What's in the inventory? Oh, it's the quest item. Uh, it's a gear. We can equip a second bow. So obviously a hunter bow is our main bow. We have a light bow or warrior bow. The warrior bow is more a shotgunny type item, I would have said. So we'll have that as a secondary option. I'm not 100% sure on what level compared to quality means. I'm assuming quality is better level doesn't matter but i don't know for sure that's something i need to kind of work out as we go okay so we can now equip a second bow when we want to and this is the blacksmiths but we'll have a quick look i have some new goods by it. so we can upgrade we can buy so if we buy you've got twin blades arc bow bronze shield which is locked to level eight so i'm assuming the level is the level of we are compared to them. So we need to be level 8 to use the bronze shield. It's my kind of thinking. So we can upgrade what we have. Which, I'm, yeah, we'll upgrade to our level. Legendary, obviously, upgrades cost a lot more. Legendary items we'll keep, we won't ever get rid of. Um, similar to how we've played previous games. So yeah, we can upgrade things to our level, but at this at this point, it isn't worth it. I wouldn't have said. Quality gives an indication of weapons attributes like poison or crit hit chance. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. We can refill arrows and tools. Always good to see you. Yeah, it's it. The, currently, it may be explained later on, but currently the quality and level is never explained. Level is. Um, what level you gained it at so level six we can gain anything from one to six um i suppose you can, it's like odyssey you can gain things higher but you can't use them yet so that's the level you need to be able to use them would be my thinking yeah always dismantle rather than the cell always okay the only other thing we've not looked at okay i need to switch bows otherwise that thing won't disappear i don't think we need to go and have a look at the weaver just while we're here. Um, so we, it's the only thing we've not really looked at, and then we can move on with the main mission. Where is... Sea was a dangerous place. I'm figuring that out. Right, where's my weaver? She's here somewhere. I just can't see where. Where is she? Uh, I've walked past her several times. This is the Weaver. Let's see what they have for us. So, these are new outfits. There's a legendary Gasp of the Plains. There's an Enge Naoki. 
Maasai warrior. Uh, Egyptian Ichu. Again, I'm, I don't really bother with outfits, to be honest. I'm not that fussed. And we have got um, an outfit. We have got a diff we've got a Desert Cobra outfit. But I tend to just stick with I don't cosmetic things for me don't really bother me. You can buy some resources too, right? Uh, I haven't seen any. The only things we could buy from the blacksmith was um, arrows and tools. I haven't seen what tools really are at this point. Um, that was the only thing we could buy from him. You like by itself with the most. Yeah, the, by the looks of it, so if we look at the Desert Cobra, there is no benefit to it, from what I can see. If we go quickly speak to the Weaver again and just have a double check, yeah, there's no benefit other than cosmetic. If there was, like, Valhalla, where you have reasons to have different outfits, like in gear, I kind of get it. Other than that, I don't generally worry about cosmetics. It's not something I ever worry about or buy into. Okay, for, so for Siwa, we have basically done everything I can see at this point. There is obviously uh, down here a quest by Axe Promise. We should head there, but I don't want to head there until we've done the story. Because I think there's... He, he mentioned something that I think was story related. Um, so, our next quest is this one. The False Oracle. We have to find and kill Mededemon. Yeah, it's like in the old games where you only have... You just have different robes. So, Bark has returned to see what to exact revenge on a powerful priest. In order to match the strength of the priest, must first improve his abilities. I think we've done that. So he is somewhere in here. He's going to be in a temple that we've already cleared. I guarantee it. There we go. He is in there. We have got to go and kill him. Again, we don't have a bl uh, Assassin's Blade or anything like that yet. All, if you listen to the guards, they're all trying to get the villagers to tell them the secrets of the temple. That's what they're trying to find out at the minute. Everyone's happy to see us back. Right. We need to take out this guy. Can't climb up there. So we can't just climb everywhere. I do like that. Okay. I'm assuming there's no guards here. Nope. We're good for a minute. Money doesn't seem to be an issue either, which is also another thing I like. Oh, oh, there must be a guard nearby. The music changes when the guard's nearby. Right, the guy we need to kill is just... Don't know. I'm kind of... Didn't want to fall down. I like staying up high. Yeah, there's a guard there. This is why I like staying up high so we don't get seen. That was my mistake there. Right, the guy we're after is just over there. I need this guard to move. And that guard to go away so I can pull him up again. If they're not looking, I can get high. Yep, we're, we're okay. Right, he's got his guards with him. So we'll just be a little bit wary. Wait a sec. Hey. Oh, we've been we've, we've alerted the guards. Okay. Is he in here? Is he running away? I was gonna try and do it nicely. Ah, someone come at the top. We've got a new hammer. Didn't really do lots of damage. And he doesn't fall off. Did damage then, though. I think his shield took the first brunt of damage. 
We killed him. Okay. They're below us. Annoyingly, I've kind of messed up because my aim was to actually do this and just take him out. But we've taken out one of his guards. I probably should switch. Combat is so different in this. I need to take, stop him. Oh, I need to stop him lighting the thing. I can hit him, the bastard. Swap to a sword. It's just a lot quicker. Okay, this has turned into a full-on fight, which is what not what I wanted. Take much dedication becoming a champion, idiot. Ah, uh, I've got myself stuck. There we go. We did our own power attack at least. Combat. I'm, I'm still learning combat. These guys just use shield constantly. Take much dedication, champion idiot. Shield break works well. Right, one of his guards is down. I think he just shot his own man then. Right, his guard's down, it's just me and him. Come on then. We have killed him. Confirmed the kill. Oh, that wasn't simple, I must admit, but getting used to the controls a little bit more. It's the enemy using shields against you and you don't realize until you hit him and it bounces off. It's like, ah. The mace isn't brilliant, I will say that, it's too slow. We've killed the guy we came to kill. You, you don't quite know why yet, in terms of the story and what it's told us. I die my work unfinished. So close, so very close to ushering in the perpetual rule of the strong and virtuous. Virtue! What the world will give us the power of the gods? What is one boy? What is one boy? And that's Kimu, which is our son. So I believe this is where we learn why Bayak wanted revenge, if I'm not mistaken. One year ago. Hey. Well, I can try. This way, I'll get two. <laughs> sure. Well. Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. Oh, you made me miss you. <laughs> Remu, come here. I found a Haney cave. A real one? Yes. Ah, go ahead. You're gonna love it. There's like 16 hyenas, and they're so dark and scary. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a That's usually like why you don't like heavy weapons. Yeah, that's the issue. They're not brilliant. I liked them in Odyssey because the overpower attack was What's good for them. The Oracle wants the belt of an but stag for this other animal. than that, they weren't the good. Bike's voice actor. I must admit the acting, voice acting is a brilliant. Magi, 
stand next to the pharaoh. You'll never be Magi. So we're going scared. for the Ibex pack. That's not true. This is one year previous to where, what we started. That bow on our sun no, is too. massive. The sand is so hot on my feet. It doesn't look right Sometimes at all. They light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> I want my feet to light on fire. Okay, this is the Ibex pack. It is up ahead. Can I come? <laughs> Your mother's waiting for you. Alright, see you at the ceremony, Hamu. Bye, Chanzura. The herd is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. So we need to go and kill the leader of the Ibex. Quiet now. Do what I do. So, which one's the leader? That is him there. That's the one. We need to go and get his Why pelt. Senu? Chanzero told me I should steal his feathers so that my wedding ceremony gets me to the field of reeds. <laughs> He's actually walking towards us. Anubis weighs your heart against a feather. You cannot tamper with this way. Hit! There we go. Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. I was aiming for the head, but we'll take the heart. We will take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. <laughs> you can. I don't know how the bird was no, killed, but I'll take it. Senu. Look at the flamingos. All my That's quite cool. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. You said you'd like to see the pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. But now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi when... It's quite a nice explanation of what, what, what a Magi is, isn't it? Protector of all people. Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave. But sometimes it's hard. Hold on. Let's go this way. When I was about your age. Sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather. We're going, we're going to helm a point. Helm, Helma? He wanted me to bring honor to I think you pronounce it. I, I don't know. Him. Yeah? One day. He took me up this way. At the top. He said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I... Here we go. What word did your father say? Jump. <laughs> Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. You still Trust think him? Me. You can. I do. I will. Uh, jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Ah! Oh, shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shanjira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Chenzera will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go, now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say, please. Go! There's a Greek soldier. Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. Confront the soldiers. Let's go and find out what they want. Come. Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. Oh. oh okay. We didn't last long. I'm assuming we're meant to get hurt. 
they were a higher level than us, they were red, and yeah, that didn't go well, did it? I'm assuming that's the point. So Greek soldiers wanted called him out and beat him to a pulp. Follow the masked man. Oh, man. So we've been tied up, our hands are tied behind our back. We are pleased you have joined us, Medjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The temple priests stubbornly refuse to assist us. You are perhaps reluctant out of loyalty to the Oracle. To we have someone to help convince you otherwise. Doesn't bode well, does it? Now, I don't really remember much of the story from when I played many moons ago, so... I remember bits Come and pieces. On. I kind of think I know what's going to happen. But, at the same time, it's still going to be very new. That's our son. See that no one comes in. Are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of there! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? We believe we need this to enter the vault. The, 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 this is a waste of time! The boy is frightened. It's all right. Papa, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use this. As measure, you must have some clue or key or legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of this! He will be discovered, quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. Well, they're nice people, are they? Papa! I did what you said, but... Ah, uh, he's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. What? No! Come on, don't! They're going to hurt us. Come on, them. Come on. This foolish waste of time! Out of time? Tell us! No, 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 I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Stop. He will never know the afterlife. Uh. No, 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 I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. Will tell you. No, no, no. for time. Stop. 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 The snake takes that as your answer. No. 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 So he stabbed his own son with the way the snake moved.
He thought you were dead. You could not even save your own son. You are no one. By yak of nothing, father to nobody! <laughs> Is a nobody? May the hidden one greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. So, his son was killed by his own hand, but. They forced him to do so. And they were going to kill him anyway. So that kind of explains his want and need for revenge. Can't really question that, can you really? Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. That was an epic scene, you're right. Joy to see I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. To be fair, I've cleared most things anyway, I think. Unless anything else comes up. We'll drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> So we've got the Ibis is done, Oracle's Relic is the quest item we found. More XP. We are leveling up very quickly. I'm expecting to slow down at some point. But currently it is going very quickly. May Ammon walk beside you. When ready to leave Siwa, speak to Hep Hep Suggested level 5. We're kind of above that as we're level 7. Um, in terms of what is left to clear here, I don't think we have anything. Um, there is obviously a viewpoint up here. That is also... Is that still part of Siwa? That is still part of Siwa. Try to see where the border is. Okay. So, I wonder whether we should head to there to do that viewpoint. And also, the other thing we need to do is this over here, by Axe Promise. There is also a question mark here. I'm not sure what that question mark will entail. And also the main mission tells us to go. Um, the Ibis is done. The main mission, we've got to go and speak to Hep Zephyr when we're ready to leave. Now, my thinking is to really go and clear those. It is part of Siwa go and clear those two points first. I think we're going to save our ability point. I kind of want the assassination loot, I think, next. Um, and we've got the enhanced bows it's two as well. Overpower, uh, probably could get it sooner rather than later. Adrenaline's probably handy. Sleep darts would probably be quite handy as well. Um, we haven't really got any tools just yet. But we'll hold off on the XP and the ability point for the minute. So, I, my thinking is, if we head up to this this uh, point over there, and then we can always fast travel back to Siwa and head to Biax Promise over here. Are you going for the tame ability for the trophies? Well, I'm assuming we'll have enough overall to do all, to get every skill eventually. So, yeah, I'm thinking over here for this quest over here and then we've got a question mark here and then we will leave Siwa 
or go and speak to the person we need to speak to to leave. That's my current train of thought. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be a long climb. Give me an excuse to cut you up. Any excuse. Which, who's, there's a soldier t talking to me. I was curious who it was because I'm just going to teach him a lesson, but we'll hold off. Okay. There's our viewpoint, that's where we're heading. The sun is setting as well. So yeah, we'll do the viewpoint first. Have we just gained another question mark? I think we have, haven't we? We have just gained another question mark over here. So we may head there afterwards. I don't know what happens when we try and leave, so I don't want to do it and then not be able to... We probably should be able to come back, admittedly, but I kind of want to make sure we've done as much as we can before we leave. We're heading up there, though, for a viewpoint. That is the plan. And then we've now got a new question mark to look at. We do need more... more... Uh, Animal stuff, so we better. I forgot the word I was after. Grab this while we're here. There we go, soft leather. Animal stuff is definitely the wrong word. So we've seen a few different animals at the minute. I'm looking forward to seeing the bigger ones. Hippos and such will be quite interesting. I vaguely remember bits and pieces about them previously, so I know they're not the nicest animals. Senu has got a kill. Perfect. If you're going to stay still, I will take you as well. There we go, more soft leather. Always looking to upgrade. So, while there's a chance to take out animals, we'll take them out if I can actually aim a bow. There we go. More soft leather. The sickles are very good as well, are they? Like I say, I'm looking forward to trying all the different weapons. Um, some of them at the minute I'm not massively pleased with. So like the spear moveset is horrendous as usual. Um, the heavy blunts seem... I know they're slow, but they're meant to be powerful. And using that one we gained wasn't fantastic. I preferred the heavy blunts in Odyssey. But then we are very early game, so there is probably... A difference so as you get higher. I'm hoping anyway. But yeah, the heavy blunts and Odyssey would seem better currently. Sickle swords I'm looking forward to trying properly though. Okay, we're near at the viewpoint. We're just a big climb. There may have been an easy way up to be fair. I like the way the camera pans back when you're climbing. You're only using swords, sickles and daggers or how are they called in the game dual swords. Okay. We try and, yeah, we'll, we'll probably end up favouring one over the other, although we try and change quite often. Okay, this is our viewpoint. This is where we're climbing up to. There probably was an easier way up, but there we go. We're here. So we will synchronise. Is there going to be a nicely placed haystack below, I wonder? It says well, there is a, a nice ha stacked bit of uh, hay below us. Okay, so we have got a couple more question marks now appeared. This is the problem with clearing everything. We're, we should be moving on really from Siwa. Um, but we've got a few more question marks appeared. It's always the way. Um, we'll head to this one first. Then we'll head to here. There's more in the mountains behind us, but I believe they're, they're in Libu. Which we know we're near ready for. So question mark here. Question mark over there, and then I'm hoping maybe question mark there, 
There's lots of exploring to do. There's always there's always some haystacks. There is always haystacks. Um, this is where we get sidetracked a little bit with story because we're always exploring and always clearing everything. Okay, bit of a zip wire. We we'll always take a zip wire. Do enjoy a good zip wire. There we go. Look at this zip wire. That is cool. Must hurt his hands. Normally you see them use a weapon or a belt or something. I think he's just using his hands. That is going to hurt. So far, I'm finding money in very good supply. Which is, makes life a little bit easier. Not that we found a use to really spend it yet. Obviously, blacksmiths and stuff will have a use. Um, but there's no point upgrading normal weapons. So what have we discovered? We have discovered Halma Point. There's a treasure here. Somewhere here there is a treasure. There we go. That is what we're looking for to clear this question mark. By the way, don't sell trinkets at all, only when you complete the game. Yeah, you need to sell 100 trinkets at once for trophy. Yeah, I was aware of that. Um, and I don't, and you know me, I don't generally sell stuff anyway. So it's not an issue. Carbon crystal. Not sure what we need to use that for. So this is actually where, if you remember, this is where. Yeah. Things have been different. I like how. Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed does that. If you go to somewhere that the story has made significant, there's always something else there. Like in Valhalla, you can go back to um, your old home, and there's an Easter eggy kind of thing there. And the same as here, Bayek's just mentioned well, this is where he brought his son before it all went wrong. I like the little snippets like that. Right, there's a question mark up here, then we're heading to that one. We will probably make life easier for ourselves by using our camel. The desert is quite a vast open place. Um, I don't tend to use horses and camels that often. I know I should more. And we probably could do the quest to leave but I kind of want to make sure we've cleared as much as possible. Whoa. Keep an eye out for those convoys. Convoys? What convoys? I didn't see a convoy. Okay. Not sure what we're about to find over here. The movement of the camel's good. Whoa. I like the fact it's got two seats. And he even clicks to it. How cool is that? It's a little attention to detail. I don't know what this is. Okay, we have found... Oh, it's an, it's an animal place. So there is an alpha animal here. We need to kill. And it was right, standing right in front of us. But I don't know that. What are these? This, there's something that gives you free pelts above us. I need to look at what they are. Alpha animal. I missed it. How did I miss that? Because it moved. We've killed the animal from the ibex layer. Right, what? Oh, the pet. Senu has just taken out. That's just taken out a... Uh, why can't I get my words out? Um, it's just taken out a Flamingo. From Senu. I missed it. Uh, and we've now taken out our own. Although we're not gaining pelts for that, unfortunately. in the water. 
stack in this house. I'm just getting, I'm hoping for pelts mainly. I think we just killed another flamingo. Unfortunately, the flamingos don't give a pelt, so. Or don't give leather. So it doesn't help us, unfortunately. But we've done, we've cleared the ibex layer. Um, they give us, what do they give us? They give us tons. Flamingos give us tons. They're random convoys that show up sometimes with copper wood. Oh, okay, we'll keep an eye out then. So flamingos give us tons. Ibex give us horns. Gazelle gives us hooves. Hyenas, you get ears. And leopards, you get fur. And these are all trade animal goods. Obviously, trinkets we're going to ignore, really. Trinkets don't really matter. Okay, where are we heading next? We've cleared the ibex. There's a question mark here now. Um, we're kind of working our way round to where that mission is over there before we leave. Ooh, I've just seen something over here. This is why I love exploring, because you come across things that a lot of people miss. I'm also curious, it might be some loot, it may be nothing. Just never know. I think, it, and some arrows I think as well. I, just, I love exploring and just finding random things. There we go, we stocked our arrows. The save is regular, it does seem like it is saving regularly, which helps. Right, what are we going to find? There is a secret Isu outfit in the game, is there? Okay. Yeah, that's why I like RPGs, because you can explore. This is a hyena layer. Okay. So we've got to just take out the chief hyena, but unlike the previous, I'm assuming the other hyenas will also attack. There we go, there's the Chief Hyena. There's also some loot in here. Right, what weapon should we try for this? Mainly because... I'm not a fan of the gruesome mattock. It's very slow. wasn't brilliant. Although it is our best heavy weapon. Might have to keep with it. I may swap to my sword though. Because the heavy weapon was shocking. Right, we can also hopefully sniper these with our bow. One's down there. there that one's uh, I was just close enough, I think, there. Right, another one down. They will come after me. They will find a way up, I'm sure. Yeah, here they go. Couple of hyenas down. Obviously, the chief one is the one we want. Why is my landline ringing again? It's going to be a sales call. Missed it. We completed the hyena layer because we've uh, taken out the chief animal, but still got one more killer here. I should really answer that, but I know it's going to be a sales call. Right, any more? I think there is one. So does shield work on our hyenas? Let's find out. I want it to attack me. I want to see if we can... Yes, we can protect ourselves. I did wonder. Right, hyenas are down. More arrows. And we've got a regular sword. That's mighty better than our current. What have we got here? To the Oracle Menderman, I, Zezi Monarch, the Nomad, shall be your eyes. I pray that you're in good health night and day, and I always make observance, obedience before you. I'm still spying, always. I dare to hope that the cowards who fled sea were without paying tributes to you shall be revealed and caught. I beg you to send hunters to get rid of beasts near my camp. They are a nuisance. Pray that every day the true Oracle will ring good harvest and joy to all their great Siwa. May Ammon walk with us all. Okay. 
I do love reading the random things that you see. They give so much backstory and meaning. Uh, right, this was the one we did from a distance. This is another one. Okay, we might even have enough leather now. I've just seen a bird. Hopefully we'll gain something from that. Uh, we gained animal item. Right, we gained a new sword, so we'll just have a look. Compare it to a current, it is better. It is called Ammon's Blade. Same as what we're currently using, but quality is six better. Found in the... So it's a, it says the same... So the same item has the same little bit underneath. Found in the Sea Oasis at the Oracle of Zeus, Ammon. So it's an Ammon blade, or Ammon's blade. Uh, so we will equip and then dismantle our previous Ammon's blade. There we go. Gain some bronze. What, can we upgrade anything? That's the other thing. Uh, quiver we can't yet. Ooh, we've got plenty of things for a stabilizer glove, but missing another item. We can't increase our braces, and we can't increase our breastplate. So there's a few crafting things we still need. I'm assuming there's nothing else to pick up nearby. Where are we heading now? So, there is a question mark. This was where we started, was coming out of here, I think, wasn't it? Um, there's a question mark here, and then there's this quest over here I want to clear before we leave Seawa. I'm hoping I haven't missed anything. Um, and I'm assuming more question marks may show up as we try and get round to this next one. Where's my camera going away from me? Let's go, camel. Let us see what we're about to attack that. Is that what? It, yeah. See what's just taken out a bird. There we go. I'm not sure what it was. But Senyu took it out for us. Okay. So we're heading to this question mark. That's the plan. I don't think our. Don't think. Um our camel can swim. I wouldn't say it can swim across there anyway. So we may have to follow this round. Going to take the scenic route. More flamingos. Uh, we're about a meter pack by here, hyenas by the looks of things. They do attack quickly. Come on then. Right, we take it, took out the pack of hyenas. Just... Nicely done. Go. I wonder what they were then. What are they? Oh, it's a man leading camels, I believe. I wonder what it was, but I think it's a man leading camels. There's gold there, what's that? Talking. We're about to come onto a camp. Look at the eye, look at them. Fighting each other. That detail is, is incredible. Senyu's just picked up something over here. There is people just over here, I think. Transporting. He is transporting a hundred drachmir. Is that someone we should be taking out then? 
Yep, it is. He's got 100 drag me, I wasn't going to leave him alone, was I? That was obvious I had to take out him. I'm assuming the camel we just let, we just disappears here. Cool. We got 100 drag me. Nicely done. Right, we're into this question mark. I just noticed it come up. I thought, oh, okay, we'll take that. Fighting on a camel. That's why RPGs are my favourite genre of games, because you enjoy games like God of War. Yeah, you can still enjoy other games. I get what you're saying, though. The exploration. You just walk across random things and you go, wow. Like them two animals fighting just then. You know, that it's just that level of detail. Right, I'm not sure what this question mark is. Let's find out. This is a vultures layer. We haven't come across vultures just yet. We have now. So... There is a vulture in here. There is also, by the looks of it, treasure. Vultures, are, I'm assuming these aren't going to be simple and easy to kill. Mainly because they fly. I can see that making life difficult for us. We've got a new predator bow. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look at this predator bow. So, my current hunter bow, long range precision, I love long range bows, does a lot more damage, and it's a better quality. Uh, this weapon is devoted to Neith, the concealed goddess of Sace, it shall be worn during the Feast of Lamps. There we go, we now, oh you only at four, we definitely need to upgrade our uh, max ava capacity, uh, max quiver. Pasta, you only have four arrows. Okay. Oh, look at this. That is a completely different abode to what we're used to. We've taken out the animal in the lair, though. I'm assuming the other, we've taken out the vulture. I don't know if the others will attack us. That is a lovely bow, though. Does mean I may need to change my secondary. Because we're going to run out. And dual swords. And iron. Is there anything else here we need to pick up? Don't think so. Vultures are hunting. They're not coming after us. I like how we just can decide playstyle, gear, but it's actually yourself, but not choose your own adventure style narrative. I like. No, I know what you're saying. I like. Um, RPGs where your choices do change the story. You can see the story evolving ahead of you. Um, but at the same time, I also get what you mean. You want it to still be a linear to a point. Jules and Simbury. Mercenaries from Jotland gave them their home names. But uh, no, lower quality, our damage is better. I'm wondering also whether I should change my secondary bow then. To my, back to my big game and mainly because the warrior bow is more of a shotgun if you put it in that way a light bow I'm not really so sure what that would be but you get more ammo with the big game bow and I think we're going to use ammo quite often with the predator right we're heading to this mission over here I think this is the last thing we now need to do if my camel can get itself out of the wall So we head to this this uh, quest, and then we can do the quest to leave Sinwa and go from there. So far, we've spent three hours starting the game and seeing the and clearing the first area. They make amazing game worlds and environments, even the ancient Greece and Odyssey. They do. I think that is definitely their forte. Is making the game worlds and you know, the different natural things that happen amongst you. Like I say, the two um, Ibexes, they're fighting. You don't see that in a lot of stuff. And do, remember when this game was out? This was out the same time as Horizon Zero Dawn. Four years ago. The camel movement isn't fantastic, but it's still decent for the time when it was out. 
Okay, so there is also a gold question mark here. This is the Ammon Stone Circle. This is also where a quest is. Align the stars. Now this is a new thing for me. Oh, the Witcher 3 was breathtaking, My yeah. Son, you wanted the stars. The stone circles show the gods' places in the sky. And your grandfather once told me they also show our place in the world. I vaguely remember dates and what you have to do, actually. Vaguely. We have to match it up to the stars, I believe. I'm going to find every stone circle. The Sphinx and the Pyramids, too. But as I say, with trophies, we'll naturally do, we'll do all trophies naturally, and then when we've finished the entire game 100%, before we start DLCs, we'll look at trophy lists to find the platinum trophies that we need. But we try and play, play it naturally until then. Okay, so we need, by Axe Promise, is a new quest, I will track it. We need to find and interact with stone circles in Egypt, 12 of them. So that obviously that's not a quick... An easy quest to complete. So, this is our first one. So, that is the star. We need to basically align this with the stars in the sky. There it is. That is the first one aligned. And that is Ammon. There are only 11 more of those to find somewhere in Egypt. Done. We will now level up. That will give be a second skill point as well. There we go. So it's slowing down a little bit. I've got to change by level 10. It will slow down a lot. I just had a thought. I love the level of detail. If you look, you've got the Medjay badge. On his left shoulder. I like how that's there. Okay, so we've now got a new ability. Um, we were saving this for the auto loot. So we'll take this. Stealth kill streak. I'm not worried about bonus XP and stuff at this point. I just wanted the automatic loot on assassinations. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we're looking at next. So, next quest, we can take off this quest because we're not going to find them all here. So, when ready to leave Siwa, we need to speak to Hep Zephyr. Now, I'm pretty sure we've cleared everything we've come across. There may be question marks we haven't found, admittedly. But, because we can't, you know, we could ride around searching for them. But we've done everything we can do currently. So, because of that, we will move, we can fast travel to here, and then we can go and speak to our friend to leave for the first time. We can always come back. But yeah, we'll clear thing we can we come across, but there may be times we come back. Enemy auto level. I'm assuming I have got that on. I haven't checked. Means that lower enemy enemies will let will level up to you i haven't looked and we haven't really focused on overpower attacks we need to have a look at how that works better with our adrenaline okay so we have fast traveled so we can go and talk to our friend before we leave here he is so i'm assuming he's also a medjay this is chopping wood be sure you are ready before you go. You can return later. Yes, we're ready. We've done everything we needed to do. Cleared everything we can find. We are ready to leave. I must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said that you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. 
Set up is the god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Okay. That is us leaving the starting area by the looks of it. Like I say, the level of detail is amazing. And I, that's what I love about Ubisoft and the Assassin's Creed franchise. Trophy achieved, first steps. Oh shit. Layla, you need a refill on Sakwasaka. Ah. Stat. Present Layla. day. Wakey, wakey. Now the present day stuff is gonna be out of sync because we've completed the plan on Valhalla Don't and Odyssey. Down there. We are gonna see the modern day stuff backwards. Your plan is when you reach a new region, I don't leave it till it completes it. That's that's generally how we do try and do things. There are times you don't you don't have a choice but to leave though, that is the problem. Layla, are you with me? Told you not to call me that. Thing is the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. <laughs> yeah, so the so, modern day stuff will be a little bit out of sync. The games themselves work Subjects in whatever order you play, clear. but the modern day stuff if this has gone a bit backwards. If give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. I oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Jeff go? Don't start. Again, we're not an assassin. We haven't okay, learned anything about that. We haven't got blade or anything yet. I'm interested well, how they fit that in. Okay. Uh, I don't know what there is to do here, actually. This is... Got the cyclosporin. There we go. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. Why it creates the creed exactly. So I'm looking forward to how they integrate that. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job. I don't know if there's anything else to do. From the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. No, there's no there's no pulse. In flight entertainment. Traces of ancient technology comes from gods or aliens. Don't miss. Include the messages surrounding the Sphinx. Okay. What is beeping at me? I think it's the animus, isn't it? There's always stuff you can read. There's lots you can read by the looks of things. So documentation. I don't think we need to read it all. I don't know how many times we come out of the animus. Animus guide. Uh, field briefing. Animus design. Biac notes. Side of except for animus is up and running. List of things as far. The manager just about as stubborn as I am. He's good at talking to people. Inviting. Gives him as a protector and defender. The community admires and respects him as a shadow when it comes to not being seen. That's quite cool. Um, like I say, a lot of this won't work in terms of what we've done previously. Uh, don't think I need to read anything else. There will be hints within these for the next games, that's the thing. But I don't think we need to worry about it. Uh, pictures. New York, 1989. 1994 2000 2011 2017 2017 Did you see the Assassin's Creed movie? I have, yes. I have seen the movie. I don't think I I didn't think it was as bad as people think. I didn't mind it as much as what other people thought. Right, I don't think there's much we can need to do here. 
Um, we can leave by looks of it. I don't know what's out here. Damn it, my papers went everywhere. Whoops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the animus. I don't know if there's anything to interact with. I haven't looked at trophies to see if there's anything we need to do whilst out the animus. I'm assuming you can't miss it. There's no missable trophies, so we should be fine. Let's get back into the animus, I think. The move is pretty good. And the Gouda's outfit is another so there's only Creed Origins in the store, is it? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, like I say, I know people... One bar. Some people really despised the film. I think it was okay. It could have been better, it could have been a lot worse. Okay. Oh, there's something here. What's this? Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? Bayek's mummy. Yeah, it's a big drop. That one. So this is Bayek's mummy. This is where she found his mummy. Right, let's go back to the Animus. It's always nice to explore the modern day side of things. Going back in. That connection. This is so badass. To buy axe final resting place is interesting. Autonomous vehicles. Okay. I was reading the hints and tips. I like the hints and tips a bit. Some. The wind rises. So this is now the official start. That's more of a tutorial section. Learn different bits and pieces. Although there wasn't much of a tutorial. It didn't really explain a lot. Yamu surroundings. 48 BCE. That new sword we just gained, the head of it, that blue. Okay, this is us. Where are we heading? Store. The store allows you to enhance your game by purchasing additional items. No. They offer us 200 Helix credits to spend on anything you want. No. I don't. I don't generally buy anything. I must protect this great land from Alexandria, the store. The snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. So we need to find Aya, and we need to find the snake now. Unlocked Thebes, recommended level forty-four. Oh, uh, okay. Loads of stuff's happening. Bear with me a second. Let us to Hera. Bayak, I cannot convey the story which I write to you. The Sine is in revolt against the Romans. Two hidden ones were caught with the massacre and been killed. I'm solely responsible. I'm slightly trained them. Struggling, struggling to keep the hidden ones together. So the DLC stuff has now all appeared. Yeah, the blue glow. No, because we haven't got poison on that sword. Sword. Everything's coming in. These are all DLC stuff because it's all downloaded together. I think that's everything. Secrets of the first pyramids. We don't. We won't do anything. We're trying to do it in order of release. Okay. So if we go to quest, there is going to be a lot of DLC stuff. So we've got to kind of ignore it's all this. Let's see, because of the first pyramids. I'm not sure when that comes in. To be honest, trial of Anubis. These are the trials you can do. Um, I have no interest at the minute. I know they're timed. They do appear constantly. Hidden ones is. I don't know what the sequence of the first pyramids is then. Because that's not a DLC, I don't think. It might be an extra thing they put in. Um, the Hidden Ones is DLC. And the Curse of Pharaohs is DLC. So we've got Aya. It's the mission we're currently on. 
Uh, Bike is travelling to Alexandra to search for his wife. So having killed Medamon and Siwa, Bayek bids farewell to his friend. Hepzefa and set out across the desert to Alexandria. There his wife Aya has been researching the other masked men. He must find and knowing only the approximate location of her cousin's house. Together they will plot their next move. Always interesting. Okay, so ooh. there is a question mark to our immediate right. So where are we in terms of map? We have travelled from Siwa all the way over here. What are these icons? Trial of Anubis. Ignore the trials. Um, this was Siwa, and we've now reappeared in um, Imant Nom. There is a viewpoint over here, and there is also a question mark here, and an Avenge killing. Not too worried about the Avengers. There's a mission we're about to unearth, hidden tax. Should we travel backwards and quickly grab this viewpoint? I know we're heading, we're heading over there. We're heading quite a way. We've got to go through the Lake Meritos first. I do wonder whether we should. There's a, there's a question mark here. We should clear it and maybe head to this viewpoint while we're here. I don't see the harm. Now let's see what this question mark is. Definitely grab the viewpoint, yeah. Oh, you were saying about the blue glow. I was on about the head of the weapon. So the sword he's got in his belt band has a blue head to it, or blue glow. And that's... We're using the Ammon's blade currently. But I don't think you can see it. Yeah, you can, there. It's got a blue top. Oh, that's all I meant. It was blue on the top. We're not using the one with the poison damage. Well, we've got a, there's a mission on the way I've just I've spotted as well. But this is a camp. Bandits hideout. There's a captain and there is treasure to loot. So bandits hideout. That means killing bandits. There is a revenge quest. We can clear the revenge quest while we're here, to be fair. The revenge one. We've got some bandits to take out. Yeah, the blue pommel. I couldn't. I didn't know what it was called. To be fair, I'm glad you did. <laughs> um, yeah, the pommel. Okay. If I take this guy out, will they see me? One down. Uh, if I take him, I may get seen in a second by doing this. He's down. We've alerted him. But he doesn't know where we are, I don't think. There's a guy here. He's also down. And he is down. There is two we haven't killed. I think I'm out of arrows. No. Yeah, I'm definitely out of arrows. There's two more guards here. They've just set themselves on fire, though. <laughs> that wasn't me that did that, they did it to themselves. I think they're both dead. Well, that made my life easy, they killed themselves. We'll take the arrow back. And there was one in the bushes here as well. Uh, there is this revenge quest. I'm assuming... This guy was killed by this is not normal. them guards. So if we track this, I'm assuming, yeah, it was the guards were just killed. So he was killed by these bandits. So we will quickly confirm. It clears this while we're here. I'm not massively fussed about doing loads of revenge quests. I'm not sure if there's a trophy for a certain amount. Um, that's not, there's one over here, but while we're here anyway, there we go, we've avenged the guy, it's decent XP, uh, there's no one in there, where is the leader, we took out the leader and now I don't know where he is, oh he's here, there we go, we've got a new spear, and there is treasure inside this cave as well. Uh, 
yes, this way. We can go in. Do we need a torch? Okay, let's, uh, let's just pick up a torch, we'll have a look. That was a fairly easy bandit camp to take out. Not loads to pick up. I'm not finding lots of loot. There's a bit. It's got hard leather. Uh, no. Loot. There we go, we got a new heavy blade. Mo Bear, I am sending a parcel your way. It contains dozens of books of the dead that were stolen. You have to find their owners and demand a high price to have them return. Do it discreetly. We don't want the temple priest finding out about this. I don't know what. I like reading all the random things you find around. I don't think they actually do anything. I don't think it adds to anything. I just like. It just makes you feel more into what is happening. Or I do anyway. Okay, so we've, we've completed the bandit hideout. Hello, Rayul. How are you? Uh, yeah, no, we've, we've, it's a first playthrough platinum run of Origins. Um, we've completed with platinum to Valhalla and Odyssey, so, and everyone decided they wanted to see this next, so this is what we're doing. But you have it as well, then. Nice. The guards are easy to kill. I can't believe the two set themselves on fire. I will go in under... You're going in Thunder Drum again in Horizon. Ultra hard this time. Wow. That's going to be difficult. I can see the pyramids from where I am already. Yeah, pyramids are early in the game. Keller's playing. He decided to play at the same time as us. Um, he's already played it before. But never as a 100% completionist. So I just want to make sure... I think we've picked everything up. So we'll head to the viewpoint next. Um, yeah, the guards set themselves on fire. It did make our life a lot easier. So viewpoint it is, and then we will head. There did seem to be a small mission um, quest as we headed towards Alexandria, so we will head there afterwards, I think. But let's get this... Oh, there's another question mark over there now. That's the problem with exploring. You find things to do on the way. The viewpoint first, and we'll see where it is. Easily get sidetracked. Especially in the desert. Alright, what is this viewpoint? Whoa. So I want to see something. There is. Okay, so Ubisoft has added in footprints in the sand, and they do disappear with the sand moving over them. I did wonder if they'd added it in. It's a lovely detail. Thank you for the like, whoever that was, I just noticed it's gone up. Thank you. Massively appreciated. You only installed the game for space. Oh, okay, you've nearly, you never finished it. You nearly finished it. I think it's definitely worth finishing. The thing is, when we first started streaming and first started, you know, chatting to other people and gaming, um, I was never a completionist. I'd collect trophies and stuff, but I wouldn't go out of my way. And I'd complete a game once the story was done. And then the channel and you guys have more have convinced me that that's not enough. So now we do aim to platinum, we do aim to completely 100% do everything that you can possibly find in a game. And when you spend, like, Valhalla with 250 hours, I think it is now, um, Odyssey we did in, um, why can't I climb up there? Sandstorm coming. Odyssey we completed 100 and something hours. It just adds more to the gameplay, you definitely feel you get your money's worth. Think about getting a focus in here and the scanner thing, wow I know. Thunder Drum is amazing. Thunder Drum was a really amazing place when you scanned everything and read everything. There was lots in there to read. You was a, a hideout and the guards set themselves on fire. It just happened to me as well. To be fair. Right, we've synchronised. What have we now 
opened up. Right, there's a few question marks here. So there was a quest here. It's Hidden Tax level 6, so it is our level. I believe we're heading this way to get to Alexandria anyway, which is up here. So that's where we should be heading. Um, there is some question marks behind us, but they are in a different... They're in... I think they're in a different territory. Yeah, they are. So we would ignore those ones. But there is a question mark here and a question mark over here. And then we'll head over there. There is one here as well. Um, but that, I think, is in a different place. I, I want to clear as we go. At the same time, we also do want to make progress. Okay, I think we can jump this way. There we go. Into the palm leaves. It's a gold question mark as well, so I'm curious what's going to be there. Go to the quest and track the quest ambush in the temple. I haven't got that one. I don't think I've got that quest yet, Keller. Uh, no. I've got Biax from Isanaya and the rest are all DLC and stuff. We did gain a new weapon, I forgot all about it. I think we gained a spear, didn't we? Uh, what did we gain weapon-wise? Oh, we gained a new... Are we going to swap our sword? Uh, no, Jules and Simbri are below our current sword. Uh, we gained, what did we gain? We gained Heavy Blade, which is better than our current. Average speed, powerful. The weighty head of this weapon will help you cleave through your enemies. Nice. We also gained a Light Spear, long reach, average power. Now, I'm not a massive fan of the spears, so what we'll do, we'll swap to Sharp Cut. Sharp Cut is better than the Light Spear anyway. So we're now going to have a look at the sharp cut as a heavy weapon. Right, gold question mark is where we're heading. Why is it all gone really weird? There's weird noises happening around me. I don't know what, I think it's just the sun. What is that on the horse? Is that just a horse on its own? I think it is. It's now disappeared. Right, gold question mark. Let's see what this is. Whoa. Well, that's weird. So, uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm catching up with chat. Get really high level and upgrade the legendary ones. Trust me, it's worth it. Yeah, oh, yeah, legendary weapons are always going to be the best, aren't they? Well, that's weird because you get the quest and buy access something about his friend, Manahat, that lives in the lake. We haven't actually gone to lake, um, the lake bit yet. The lake bit is there. We're just on the outskirts. So the bit where you started, Keller, Immense Gnome, we've gone to do, we've done the one question mark, done a, well, we've done a bandit camp, uh, the viewpoint, and we're just clearing the two question marks. We haven't actually got to the lake yet. One thing I dislike about this game is that you can't look around and say, what's over there, and check it out, because it'll probably cross the border, which makes it really underleveled. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, you have to really zoom out to see the borders, and, like, there is two question marks over here, and we could just naturally go and find them, but... Yeah, we're going to be massively under-leveled. Yeah, I have noticed that as well. Okay, this is another Biax prom Promise Areas. Nice one to find early on. Align the stars. I think there was a big sandstorm. We've actually got to wait till the sandstorm passes to be able to do this. Unfortunately, there is a sandstorm. Hey, it's a big sandstorm. Uh, I'm assuming I can do this. We can meditate, make time move on. And hopefully the sandstorm is cleared. I didn't want it to be night time, I just wanted the sandstorm to clear. There we go, we can now interact. Okay, that's the pattern we've got to find in the sky with the stars. Which means we'll, after this one there'll be ten left. Okay, find the pattern. Well, that's more of a sickle to our left. Is it there? These rotate, Let don't they, from what I remember. A duty to the gods. We must be strong. I don't want to finish it too soon, I want to listen to what he's saying. But we must only fight when it is just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. 
You will make a fine Magi, son. Like Mum says, may your victories multiply. It's quite cool. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the it's not here. I thought it was there. I was looking at a long bit then, but it's it. here. The fiercest of hunters. She leads the armies of the Pharaoh to battle. I should have waited to finish off what he was talking to his son about. Shouldn't I really? Divine Lion is done though. Uh, what microphone do you have? You have a hundred dollar headphones and my mic is way worse. Um, my my microphone is built into the headphones, so I've got the PlayStation Platinum headphones um, and the mic is built in. It's really good for streaming, chatting to you guys live. When I do voiceover videos, it's a pain in the bottom. It is, isn't brilliant for doing voiceovers and stuff that I've found so far for my limited time doing a YouTube channel. I should have waited before finishing that. I wanted to listen to the rest of the story with his son. Right, so what have we found? There is another question mark here, and then we are heading towards the lake. Uh, there is a picture with it. I think that's a picture. Is that, are these pictures? I think they are. Picture, image of the day. Oh, this looks like a village. Um, but yeah, we have finished. I don't, it says I can interact. What happens if I interact? I've cleared it. I'm just curious what I'm going to interact. Does it mean I have to do it again? I wondered if it would tell me the story bit that I missed because I pressed it too soon. I do have to do it a second time. That's annoying. There we go. It's there. Oh, you just stargaze at it. Okay. It doesn't replay the story though. You can just stargaze. I did wonder what it would do. Because the interact thing was still there. Okay. We've stargazed enough. We'll head to the question mark and then we're heading to the lake. And there's a taxman mission or something along those lines. Some of these question marks we'll have to leave until we're in them areas. As Lisa said, it is a bit annoying. Um, the fact you're easily cross the board without realising. Okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know if we're allowed here. Getting lots of crocodiles and hippos. Are we going to see crocodiles and hippos pretty soon then? What is this? I don't know. This looks like a bad camp. In my eyes, this is not going to be good. No, it isn't. It is Eremos Hideout. I don't know who Eremos is. But I'm assuming bandit type, maybe. But it needs clearing. There's, there's a level 8, which is our level. Level 6, guard 7. Is that all the men? Something's talking over there. There's 10 cedarwood. We need cedarwood, actually, for upgrades. Okay. There is a guard here. Can I take him out? Silent and deadly. That's me, eh? I think I've only got two more guards to take out. Uh, they will attack on site here. Yep, they will attack on site. But I'm pretty sure I've taken everyone out. Bar two sleeping. Which I will sort out in a second. With a new scepter. <coughs> the other one stayed asleep. There we go. And let's grab what's in here. That's, that's annoying. He jumps on boxes when you're just looking open. New scepter. We have cleared the location. We're done. There's definitely no one else here, is there? No. Done. Nice and easy. Right, we do need cedar wood. I'm curious to where that is. It's something we do need. Nice and easy, easy clearance, though. A uh, couple of extra bits of loot. I think we're done. I could have set the place on fire, to be honest. The thing is, he didn't kill him. It says assassinate, but he didn't actually kill him. Just, just rolling around in agony. Some more loot. A bit of bronze. We're done. Let's right, call our camel. Where should we head? So my plan was next. I know there's question marks appearing all around here. 
um, which is they're all parts of different areas. My thinking was this is where we're heading. There's a hidden tax mission here, which is in the Lake Meritus. So I think that's where we should head. The idea is to get Alexandria. So if we head round the side of this big lake, I think we'll make our way there. Do I play Subnautica? I've never played Subnautica, to be fair. I don't have Subnautica either, actually. No, I've not played it. What's it like? Would you recommend it as a game to add to our list of games to play? Is that an enemy? He is an enemy. That's my fault for getting too close to him. Who's took him out? It's fine. Right, this is a town by the looks of it. That we've just found. I keep remembering we've just found new gear and need to keep compare, comparing and checking. Um, so light bows we're not going to really worry about. We've got a better arc bow. So we can get rid of that previous. Um, try and always have one of each. What weapons wise did we gain? Not swords. Right, we gained scepters and a mace. We haven't even used a, a new blade yet. So we've got a Pharaoh's Mace, so we can get rid of the quality 8 one. Um, what else did we gain? Uh, we gained a new Sivon Scepter. Get rid of that one. And a Cypria Gabo Head. Okay. Pro probably made its way from Kypros to possession of Cleopatra's ancestors. It is less damage than the one we're doing. But it's not as fast. I want to try and use a sharp cut, and if it's not very good, we we'll might swap it for the secret Gabro head. And it's saying gear. Why? Have, oh, I've got an upgrade. I can upgrade my stabilizer glove, which increases my range damage. Well, I need to increase my quiver, ideally. Um, but I need wood. We can upgrade a stable. I'm assuming we should. I can't think of a reason not to upgrade these things whenever we get the resources. So we'll upgrade our stabilizer glove and our range damage has now gone up. Uh, we need a lot more resources now for the, for the next one. Um, but yeah, we want to increase, increase our max arrow capacity, but we need yeah. wood, which I've not really seen. There was something there. Now they've got cedar wood. There's also with no new region discovered. Hang on, it's doing little things. We've discovered the region of the lake. So now it will show up on my map. Right, there is there was cedar wood just over here, which is where I want to kind of head to. And there was also, I think, a second ago. Yeah, there's a uh, these are car I'm assuming these are caravans. They're transporting Drachmir. Drachma. I'm not overly worried about the Drachma. At the minute I want the wood. Now this might go badly wrong. Well, it, go, it might go really well. I'm assuming we're not welcome. I'm assuming I can't just ride up and nick the wood. No, and there's quite a few guards around, isn't there? But I want the cedar wood. That would give us a quiver upgrade. So I'm thinking we head in and see what happens. There's a lot of horses nearby, so that tells you how many of them there is. Whoa. This may go wrong. This may be a bad decision, but I want that wood. Um, so let's turn... We need to see if we can take a couple out before we actually alert them fully. One down. Okay, now uh, we want to swap to a uh, heavy blade. Mainly because I wanted to see how good it was. Okay, this is not going well because we've got arrows coming at us everywhere. I, I told you this might have been a bad decision. I'm, the, I'm being hit by arrows. Which is why this isn't a good decision. I'm still losing health. I'm kind of running away. Right, one down. I need to take out the guys firing arrows at me, ideally. Whoa, he's come on a chariot! I have got our overpower. 
That's a Roman power attack. Right, who's shooting at me? Because you're annoying me. You're the guy that's going to cause me to die if I'm not careful. Alright, it might not just be him that causes me to die. I'm in trouble now. I missed. I need my health to regenerate enough that I'm not going to get myself killed. Running away at this point. So yeah, this wasn't a good decision, admittedly. My health's re regenerating at least. Oh. All I wanted was the wood. I thought I could do it easily. I couldn't. By the looks of things. Alright, are you going to attack me? I've got someone else shooting at me as well. Right, one of the arrow guys is out. I definitely made a bad decision. I'll give you that. Wasn't my best thinking, was it? Uh, hopefully the wood's still there. If it's not, and I've lost the wood, one guard is carrying the loot, and they usually try and run away. So there is a chance I've lost the loot, and I think I have. There's a guard there, eating. Have I seriously lost the loot? I have, haven't I? So I did all of that. Oh, it's there. Okay, the cedar wood is behind us. I'm assuming that was the guy on the chariot. I believe that was him. Yeah. No, this is a guy on a horse. And, and he's running away while shooting arrows at us. Can't hear him, it's too far. Okay, so that's the one I want to take out. Where's my horse? My, my camel. I'm not losing, I'm not doing all that to lose the cedar wood, am I? I think I saw him go on a horse. Yeah, I thought it was a chariot, but no, he's not, it's the horse, isn't he? I'm not, I'm not doing that and losing all that cedar, losing the cedar wood after doing this. Too far away from him. Come on, come down. I need you next to him to hit him. And while I'm dodging his arrows at the same time. Do not ride into that camp. Right, well, he's dead. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I just found a new camp. And I didn't want them attacking me as well. Just to add to my issues. So, I learned my lesson. I didn't use stealth to my advantage at all, and I shouldn't have just gone straight into attack. I learnt my lesson. But, on the plus note, we got a wood. So I've unlocked a new camp. Is that, it's in the same region, actually. It is in the region we're in. So there is a camp to do, clear at some point. There's lots of question marks. There's a mission over here as well. The Ostrich, level 17. I think we'll leave that one for the time being. Uh, there's two missions over here then. There's a hidden tax mission to take. Right, I learned my lesson. We won't be doing that in a hurry again, I don't think. So we can now upgrade a quiver though. Or we can upgrade our braces. Which, in which increases their melee damage. Health is increased by breastplate. I think quiver. I think we'll take the quiver. There we go. Quiver is increased. We've got one extra arrow for our predator bow. One extra arrow, one. Um, and braces, we need more to upgrade. Definitely learn my lesson though. Do not just go in and attack straight like that. It doesn't bode well, as we found. Right, we've got a question mark appearing on our left. I don't think it is on our left. I think it's just the way it's showing up. I think it's more on our right, which is that one. Okay. I've still got a few things to learn, I think, about this. As far as weapon, it's not bad, the weapon we're currently using. 
Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. So there's a temple here. It's where his friend will be. So meet Mehmet in the, the priest at the temple of Sekhmet in Yamu. Okay. Firstly, I want to pick up this side mission. The weapon for that fight looked a bit clumsy too, too slow. Yeah, that was, that, that was definitely the issue. Um, I had too many people surrounding me and that weapon wasn't good enough for that. I do think in some ways that kind of incentivizes if you're surrounded, I think the um, scepters would be better. It does less damage, but it's quicker for long reach. So I think that would have been better. Oh, that quest is meet the priest. Oh yeah, no, I know. I know about that one. Let's have a look. It's going to do less damage, but I think it's better if it's around it. Well, it's, we're using the sword more for one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so the quest you mean is ambush in the temple. Um, yeah, we've got it. But I'm just going to grab the other quest on the way in. This one here. Okay. Whoa. I'm assuming we're allowed here. Yep, I think so. It's not from red or yellow or anything, so we are okay to be here. There's a blacksmith here as well. The more missions we pick up, the more we can clear as we go as well. So, there's a guy. Speak to this lady, find out what she needs. We haven't got long left either, we've got about 15 minutes, so we'll see how much we can get done. Claudius took a boat out to see the ruins across the lake. He has not returned. None of these brutes honor a wife's pain. I beg you. I will seek him out. So we've got to find a husband. I will you here. Where, did, where did it take us? That's the question. I'm, oh, it's a, oh, okay, it's taking us to the island. There is a viewpoint on this island as well. And a question mark. So is it worth travelling there now? Obviously with the temple there. There is another Book of the Dead mission. We've got about 15 minutes left. So, what should we do? We, obviously this mission takes us here. I'm going to upgrade your armour more. It won't matter as much. Why it takes a minute. No, that's true. That is very, very true. Should we? We've got about fifteen minutes. I'm thinking. Let's keep the main story moving. We we can. The missions are fine, so we can do them at any point, can't we? That's Alexandria. Ambush in the temple. Let's head. We're gonna head to the temple. I'm just. I'm curious. I'm conscious of time. I don't mind picking missions up because it means we can go and clear them whenever we want. There's no point upgrading weapons. I don't think at this stage. There's another mission here as well. Because they're all logging your, in your quest log, it's quite nice picking up a good load of missions and clearing them one at a time when you're around that area anyway. <laughs> See what this guy needs. Have you seen my book of the dead in your travels, Magi? I haven't. I all the way to Memphis to buy it. No. How was it lost? Bandits. They came from the dunes nearby. When the leader saw how I cared for the book, he wrenched it from me. We've cleared the bandit camp already. I thought my heart would stop. I can help. I do not fear them. I have been praying for someone like you. That book will unite me with my wife's spirit. Did we miss something in the bandit camp? Father, we are going home. But this Magi is helping me. Oh yes? You are going to find his book? If by some miracle you do. Thank you. Unless there's another bandit camp out there. We'll track you this. Where the bandits went to go? Oh, I... Uh, the leader told the others to meet him at the necropolis, I think. Okay, so necropolis. Live you live near... Okay. Going home. I'm pretty sure we haven't been to necropolis. We have. So we've cleared this bandit camp. And there was a book there and we didn't get it. Whether it's because we didn't have the mission open or not, I'm not sure. That's the annoying thing about having to go backwards, isn't it? Um, should we? 
Yes, I think we should. I think we should grab Anna, our the book is gone. camel and go and do it. Because we've already cleared it. You will find it's a little bit frustrating having to go backwards. Most quest items you can pick up before the quest. Annoyingly, I missed something. So let us grab our camel. And quickly go and retrieve this book. I assume... I don't want to follow the road. I'm just a... Wait to see if I can have a camel go quicker. Doesn't seem like I can. Luckily, it's not too far away. Just more frustrating we cleared it already. Hopefully they're not back. And I'm hopefully just saying, oh, I missed, which means I should have looked better. Oh, the bandits will be back and we're going to have to take on the bandits. One of the two. Okay, target is located. Right, there is a chance the bandits are back alive. Are they? No, bandits are still dead. I missed something when we went inside them. It's not heavily guarded. So I made a mistake when we cleared it. So why this is why I tend to look everywhere, but I didn't for some reason. Because we could have picked this up earlier. What did I miss? Ah, that's what I missed. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we could have picked this up previously, but I messed up and didn't. My fault. But we've got it now. Now to return the book to the old man. We can head back to the man, return his book, and that's another side quest complete. And that would level us up probably to level 9 as well. Wind is picking up. Who is that? I Why is some random... Oh, he's down. Some random person decided to attack us. And I can't loot him. But, yeah, okay. Whoever he was, we dealt with him. A little bit annoying. But yeah, we definitely need to upgrade our armour. Um, we've got to get more feeder wood for that. Early game, you're always worried about taking hits. Right, this is the lake again. Back we come. Go and hand in the Book of the Dead. We're rapidly running out of time. There's a viewpoint around here as well, before the temple. May even go and do that. Okay. Right, this guy's upstairs. There we go. Don't tell me he died. His good life is over. He was too weak to live till you return. May he be conducted in peace. He was in despair that his car would not join my mother's. Where is his body? It is not too late. You are a blessing from the gods. He receives the rites in this small temple. Oh, so there's a little bit more to this mission still. There is a small temple. Um, and we need to replace the Book of the Dead with his body, I assume. And that gives him his car, his spirit, the ability to leave with his wife, from what I can gather. I'm assuming, I don't know if I'm allowed in there. Small temple, where is it? Okay, I'm assuming I'm allowed in, we'll find out in a second. Yep, we are, luckily. I did wonder. The buildings are all... 
I don't know. Different. <laughs> Trying to find my way around. There we go. This is the man. Old man. Your book. May it guide you to your wife's side. There we go. Quest complete. We're leveled up to level nine. Right, what is... Okay, I've got a blue marker. I don't know what that blue marker is. What is that? I don't know what the blue markers, quest, the exclamation points are. Does anyone know what the blue markers are? I don't want to do them if they're not meant to be done. If they're part of something else. 41 degrees, this is insane. Though. Why in your house is 41 degrees? Okay, I'm just going to have a look at the legend. I'm curious. They're not an Avenge quest, are they? They're not on the legend. So the blue, greeny exclamation points. Oh, outside it's 41 degrees. I think we're meant to get to about 21 today. They're not on the... Legend. But my concern is, are they going to be similar to the Lost Towers of Greece missions? Where they added after? That's a trial. Which was DLC. Um, because if they are, I don't want to clear them too early. Or are they reoccurring missions like Odyssey? We're going to head to the viewpoint first anyway. We are rapidly running out of time for the day. So I'm thinking viewpoint and that may be it. But yeah, does anyone know what the exclamation blue or greeny kind of looking ones are? So we know whether we can clear them or leave them. The new location discovered. Discovered. Will he allow us to climb? It does indeed. You think that's redder? Oh, definitely we leave them alone then. I don't normally do redder. I'm not a fan of redder. There's a papyrus nearby as well, but we'll synchronise. It should save automatically after synchronising. The auto save and not having a manual save is a little bit worrying because I'm worried that it won't save when I want it to, but we've synchronised so it should save, and it has saved. It's the ideal time to stop is when you've synchronised, I think. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, so you think that's a red emission? There's papaya somewhere in here, and this is also where we're heading for the mission as well. So we've cleared quite a bit. We've got one skill point to spend. I'm not about sales one. Should we take some sleep darts? Let's take some sleep darts. What's the next one? Flesh decay. I'm not really worried about flesh decay. Where there's boxes that cost 3,000 coins to give you legendary weapons. Just, you know. I've never been a fan of Redder. Just, yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, that's about the hidden ones, isn't it? I wonder what these birds were called. Ah, oh, they're herons. That's what they were, herons. So we now have tools, and we have sleep darts. Winning game, press left to equip them and we can actually increase the capacity nice we gained something else here i'm assuming that's a hidden blade isn't it yeah we've gained sleep darts why well, it's a legendary though we can put lower ranked enemies or animals to sleep and move past them without being detected whether we'll use them that much i'm not sure to be fair but we shall see He's kind of invisible. I don't even think he has a kid. He's got to be something else. Yeah, I think he is something else. Right. I think that, I think that's it. I think we are done for this morning. So we have started Origins with our first live stream. We've cleared a couple of trophies naturally, which is always the plan. Um, and so far, thoroughly enjoying it. I think the level of detail is immense. Um, weaponry we still got to get used to and defending in a in a fight we've got to get a bit more used to and attacking um but there seems to be a lot to do similar to odyssey where there was a lot going on 
on the map i think this will be the same if not worse um which is fine we'll just take a time clear the thing keep the story flowing nicely complete side quests as we go so that is this done for the day so the plan is this evening we will be back live um just around nine o'clock uk time and we're going to go trophy hunting in horizon zero dawn uh frozen wilds dlc just to finish off the last trophies we need um for the dlc uh that's the plan for this evening and um other than that when are we next what are we next doing i'm sorry i've lost my train of thought so yes yeah, tonight horizon zero dawn trophy hunting and then we're not live tomorrow morning because it's friday and i've got physio um i think probably after that i've got to be careful in the evenings of how much i'm doing but i think saturday evening now they've fixed avengers depending if we finish all the trophies in horizon if we do in tonight's stream saturday evening i'm thinking avengers cosmic cube event which has just started um and that'll be saturday and we'll see how we feel if we can manage another one we still got mastery events to do in valhalla i don't want to let them disappear too much to the side it's quite nice going back and doing bits and pieces um and monday morning we'll be back with more origins um what else have we got coming up i think star wars series is still ongoing it'll be monday and friday um i think that's it for the minute the other thing i'm considering so we in odyssey we did a few videos on the discovery tour they were small they just did the discoveries tour kind of things i enjoyed doing them. i enjoyed making them i enjoyed listening and learning from them i may do the same with origins i haven't really decided but we'll figure things out there's things coming up on the channel so thank you all very much for joining us thank you for the conversations and the likes you've all been amazing as always and i will hopefully see some of you this evening for horizon zero dawn thank you all for watching have a good day don't be too too hot keller bye bye <laughs>